Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Underground Broadcast. Cheers. Thank you all for being here. Let me hit it for you, motherfuckers. Super Saiyan Joku, let me hit it for you, motherfucker. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> And let me hit it for the one and only Gomer motherfucking Kyle. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Cheers, fellas. Thank you for being here tonight. Appreciate you. Hope you guys had a good week. It's Friday. And of course, I'm going to start off with some fucking bad news. God damn it. Because this week, our channel got two. Two fucking copyright strikes. Because this fucking, I'm sorry, this fucking pussy over here had to go and complain. Oh, I don't know that I don't like the things they're saying about me. This transsexual non-binary, how dare he? Fuck you, James Gunn. That son of a bitch. Two, two of my videos were taken down and deleted. Because this piece of shit doesn't like for me to say that he's a dumbass and an idiot. Fuck you. I didn't post anything different than what everybody else posts on Twitter and on Instagram and on their piece of shit YouTube channels. We don't even have 600 subscribers and this piece of shit's giving us copyright strikes. Fuck you, James Gunn. You know the last time we got a copyright strike was Dwayne the Big Cock Johnson because he didn't want us to put a concept art of his shitty movie. He didn't make any fucking money and he broke fucking Henry Cavill's heart. A dumbass. Now here we are with this fucking white hair piece of shit. Fucking, you realize we're one strike away. One strike from being deleted from fucking YouTube. We don't even have subscribers. Nobody watches this channel. There's only two of you watching right now for fuck's sakes. And we're getting deleted. That's some ass. So I cannot stress this enough, people. Subscribe to our other backup channels, the Illegal Underground Broadcast, the Emergency Underground Broadcast. Search and subscribe to them. I just posted a video not even like five minutes ago, and it has the links in the description. So go and subscribe to them, because tonight we're going to review the Deadpool trailers, and you know just how we do fucking reviews and spoilers. So tonight might, might be the last time we're on here. We might just get banned, because I, I don't give a Fuck. I'm going to continue this channel and do it the same way we've always done it. Fuck you. How come all these pussies like Heavy Spoilers and fucking Derek Voss and all these other motherfuckers get to post all the shit they want, but our channel who doesn't even have subscribers gets copyright strikes, you fucking dicks. That's all I got to say. Anyways, I'm sorry I got to start all pissed off and angry. But then what the world does to a motherfucker who looks like this, they attack me because I'm different because I'm brown and I wear makeup. They don't like it. Identify as a non-binary trans woman. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, James Gunn. <laughs> Fucking dick. Anyways, if our channel doesn't get deleted after tonight in our Deadpool spoiler review at the end of the episode, um, tomorrow, I think around 6 or 7, I don't know, I'll, I'll find out and I'll put it up, but it's tomorrow night. We'll do a live Twitter feed because we don't have enough money. Go to Comic Con, all right? We're living Joe Biden's economy. We don't have enough money. But we're going to be live on Twitter looking at other people's Twitter feeds and seeing all the spoilers because there's no point on talking about it next Friday if you already fucking saw it since last Saturday. Everybody already said Eric Voss and all those pussies already said everything and spoiled everything. So we're going to do it live and get it over with, motherfuckers, tomorrow. Show you all the Twitter feeds and all the shit they're showing. It's just all the ass that's gonna make no money because Kevin Feige's fucking up. That's why. 
So, uh, you know, tomorrow, sometime, go to the main channel and you'll see the thing coming up live tonight or whatever the fuck. And go watch it and shit. Mm. But anyways, enough of that. I'm, I, I don't want to... Uh, man, I hate starting off bad like this, getting angry and shit, but I'm a fuckers. We're going to get deleted. We're getting... De I've been discriminated my whole life. Discriminated against. Son of a bitch. Getting our channel deleted is some, some bullshit, you ask me. <laughs> Fuck you, James Gunn. Anyways, uh, when I'm done with his ass, uh, let's move on to the to the fucking uh, to the comments and shit, fellas. Uh, we're gonna start uh, again. Social medias at X on a man six six five. Uh, uh, Instagram uh, at the Underground Broadcast with underscores in between the words. Make sure you also sign up for those because if something happens to our channel, you're not gonna know what happened to it unless you're you know you're on one of these feeds, and that's where I'll fucking tell you. Uh, if we suddenly get deleted. So make sure you subscribe to those. Oh yeah, the rise of Lord Master Starscream! <laughs> this motherfucker hasn't been here in a while. Cheers, Master Starscream! We're glad you're here. Happy Friday, you motherfucker. Hope everything's been good with you and God bless you. We love you. Anyways, subscribe to the social medias because if we get deleted, that's the only place you're going to find out where we're going to move to next. Plain and simple. Uh, there's a video already up there on the social medias with the links. So you can subscribe to those other channels, you motherfuckers. Uh, but let's get into the motherfucking comments of this week. I'm going to light this up. And our first comment this week is none other than Anthony Timmons. This guy's a badass. Uh, on the on the podcast, he says, The likes are working for now, but there was a few times when I would try to leave a thumbs up, and it wouldn't let me. And then I would have leave a comment, and it would disappear. So I would have to come back and repost it. You know... They're, they're really picking on us, man. I don't understand why all of a sudden we reached 600. It's been three years, three years, and we barely reached 600 subscribers. And all of a sudden, YouTube is attacking us. Got two strikes in a week. Motherfuckers are pressing the like and trying to comment. So nothing's coming out. You know, the comments has already been fucked up, Timmons, since forever. Since we started already, YouTube was... uh was already fucking with the comments. And I don't think it's just, it's in other channels too. Uh, they, they delete your comments if you put, you know, the bots they have. If you put a bad shit, they take it off. Uh, so a lot of people have been telling us since the very beginning. So the comments, I know something was fishy, but now it's like, now we really are getting attacked, man. This is, this is some ass. And I don't know how, I don't know how to defend the channel, fellas. So just subscribe to the extra backup channels. That's all I'm asking because, like I said, I am going to show you Deadpool spoilers. I'm going to review the whole movie and spoil it for you. And you know how I spoil movies. I show you shit. So this might be the last time because one more strike. We got two strikes this week. One more strike and our channel is deleted. Delete it. Fucking dick. Anyways, keep me informed. If you all, you know, Timmins, let me, let me know. Thank you for letting me know, Timmins. I know they're fucking with us. They don't like they don't like a motherfucker who's brown and identifies as something he wasn't born as. Sons of bitches. You're racist motherfuckers. Hmm. Anyways, let's get going. Oh, Phil, Phil, but three I's and three L's. All right, and it says number three. Get it? Three I's, three L's, three. Phil, three. Now that's a pretty clever name, Phil. Anyways, Phil on the Diddy takes responsibility video, an old video. Bro, you unironically went crazy and started to look like this after taking too many drugs. Well, yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> That's the story of my life, motherfucker. You think a motherfucker's born like this? Nah, you gotta do a lot of fucking drugs before you end up looking like this, you motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for commenting, Philly. Philly boy. This one's for you right here. By the way, this is my first 
J of the day. So, you know, I'm going to be toasted here in a little bit. All right. Philly also put G's on the, uh, I keep, I don't know why. I mean, I guess I'm too intense for him. Maybe. I don't know. Keep going. We'll keep going. Oh, this Satanist rock will fuck my life. Left a comment. Let me hit it for him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco left a comment on the Deadpool and Wolverine spoilers and leaks before the premiere. He put, uh, yo, son, I'm so freaking psyched for this movie. I hope Toby Spider-Man shows up at the end. Yeah, I'll, I'll spoil that for you later. Let's freaking go. I can't wait for you you to show the end credit scene and ending. Cheers, guys. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Rocco, you're the shit, motherfucker. Cheers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The illegal channel does have a ban. You're right. It does have a ban right now. Uh, but it's still subscribed because that ban will end eventually. I'm going to have to make more channels. I'm going to put the secondary underground broad broadcast channel. The fuck you, James Gunn underground broadcast channel. The fuck you, YouTube underground broadcast channel. I'm going to make those. I am. I'm going to make extra ones uh, because I got a feeling this is going to continue happening. And that's fine. I don't give a shit. I save all my videos on a hard drive so I can always re-upload all the content on another channel. It'll take forever, but I can still do it. I'm just saying. Anyways. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you. I'm going to spoil it tonight. I mean, pretty much all the shit I said uh, last week was pretty much the movie. I mean, it, all, it was all exactly like it. Almost. Almost. But about 90% of what I said was exactly like it. Uh, I'm just gonna give you, you know, act actual, you know, sh show you actual shit and, and give you what the, what I missed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what is this guy? Cancel for live! This motherfucker, let me hit it for this guy. Where is he? He's right here. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. It's all another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? What, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. You fucking racist. Anyways, this guy says, uh, this movie will make Marvel Disney their billion dollars, but it won't make up for the huge loss they suffered these past five years. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. You know, they did lose a lot of money, uh, but it's pocket change, man, because they, they, I think they, be, they broke a record about becoming the first studio to ever make like $60 billion. Like no one's ever made that much money. So... It doesn't matter. They're still a powerhouse and they have money to lose. They have money to lose. Like, they're not going out of business anytime soon. But if they continue like this, in the next 15 years, they'll be out of business. Uh, if they continue like this. But right now, they're not going out of business. They like pocket change for them. Like, oh, so we, we still can't. We got, mo we got money to blow. Getting it in. Letting these bills fall. Money to blow. I get paid every 24 hours, money in the power. Oh yeah, I come to VIP and get a champagne shower. I don't got to worry because everything's ours. And I got a big bouquet of Mary Jane's flowers. Oh yeah, cheers, Wizzy! <laughs> oh yeah, you motherfuckers, give it up for, for the Wheeze man. Wheezy and baby. Cheers. Uh, cancel for life. Let's see who else. Uh, Doug Unfunny. Oh, let me hit it for this dick. Where is he? He's right here. Well, get fuck. Fucking Doug. On the Trump media conspiracy video. He puts, what the fuck, son? This is creepy. 
I showed this to my son, and now he's all obsessed with it. Oh, he's looking at trailers differently now. And he puts a lot of laughing faces. Cheers to the man in the woke pack. Hashtag. Woke pack. Oh, 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 live. That's not a conspiracy, and it's not a coincidence. That's the truth. You can believe it, or you can just ignore it, but it's the truth. They, they, they show it to you all the time in front of your eyes, what they're going to do. And usually a week before they do it, something on TV shows it. Uh, they're good at that. That's what that's 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 what they like to do. Anyways, fuck them. That's what I say. Try not to watch television. Cheers. Thank you, Doug Unfunny, for commenting. Oh, the Deadpool and Wolverine spoiler is somebody new named Claw Whip. Oh, the first Punisher was Dolph. Dolph Lundgren, you're right. And then it was that guy Tom something, that motherfucker. That, the villain there was, uh, what's his name? John Travolta and, and Kevin Nash. He was the Russian. The Russian comes out in Deadpool Wolverine, but it's not Kevin Nash. It's some uh, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dolph was the first Punisher, and that was back in the 80s, I think. A, yeah, that was a shitty movie because that motherfucker, I didn't even know what he was saying half the time. <laughs> what? Speak English, you dumbass. That's what the director would have told him every, every fucking five seconds, and that would have been me. Somebody get, we're going to dub the shit out of you, Dolph. Just get in there, flex your muscles, you dumbass. That's all you're good at, anyways. Cheers! Thank you for commenting, Claw Wit. Alright, let's get going. Oh! Isaac Isaac C. Valdez. Oh! On the Deadpool Wolverine spoilers. This Oriental she man explains this super funny. I can't be on this page anymore. Peace out. To the trans creep that made this. Oh, this guy. Yeah, wait, what? What do you mean I, lo I look oriental, you son of a bitch? If anything, I look Indian. What the fuck is going on here? Do I look Asian to you motherfuckers? Robo, you're out there. You Asian son of a bitch. Let me know if I look like you. Do you look, does anybody in your family look like this? Let me know. All well, this time? Maybe I've been I've been looking for my 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 real father in, in the wrong country. He's in Asia. Shit. <laughs> Cheers, Isaac Valdez. Thank you for commenting, motherfucker. <sighs> All right, right. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, every time I'm gonna do this. Fucking does this, man. Fuck you, YouTube. Trying to embarrass me on live fucking YouTube and shit. On the broadcast. Anyways. This is none other than the channel's very own No Ma'am. No Ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. And No Ma'am says on the Deadpool spoilers Hey, son of man. I just saw the movie. Oh, that was three days ago. Can't tell you how. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? You went to the theaters, didn't you? Three days ago. What was that Thursday, Wednesday? Oh, you fucker. You saw it on Tuesday. Son of a bitch. But I did. Yeah, I bet you have someone that works at the theaters or maybe this guy works. You work at a theater. Let me know, sucker. Y'all gonna need some of those big stand-in posters. He says, you were right. Most of the movie's in the trailer, and you got most of it right, too. Yeah, I did. I did. You didn't know the ending. I, I said I didn't. But the ending is kind of lame and does not lead anywhere or to any other MCU movies. Hey, you son of a bitch. I'm going to review this tonight. Quit spoiling it. Uh, anyways, he keeps going, and he says, Oh, and the, dead cor the Deadpool Corp don't show up to help Deadpool, but rather to fight them. Hey, I already... Son of a bitch, he's, spo he's already reviewing it, spoiling it for you guys, you dick. That's what. That's the whole part of the show tonight. You're spoiling it. Trying to take my, my, my two minutes of fame. Anyways, 
Cheers to the man. Thanks for the laughs and spoilers. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. I hope you all have seen the movie already because I am going to spoil it, all of it, and show you everything. Uh, so I hope you all are ready for that. But that's a tour towards the very end. Like, you know. So, not anytime soon. Got a, got a, sh a, 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 a show full of shit tonight. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are a badass. Hey, thank you. Uh, Star Scream. Like I said, we might just get fucking uh, fucking delete it tonight, and my shit's falling down. Ugh, I felt it come apart. I'm just trying to tie it back. Oh fuck it, I'm taking it off. I felt it come loose, come out. It's my chain. Sorry. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm too fucking stoned to be fiddling with lockets and shit. Anyways, cheers, uh, no man. Thank you for commenting and spoiling the shit that we're gonna talk about tonight, you dick. Oh, on the Polly Shore, did it? You don't know what I'm talking about. It, as I say, he murdered uh, 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 Richard Simmons. Uh, Michael Fowler says, "Calm down." Okay. Cheers, Michael Flower. I like your name, Flower. That's about like uh, I wish I had a last name that was Flower. I think I'd be the most popular kid in school growing up. Cheers. Anyways, keep going. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's fucking up again. All right, let me refresh it. Oh, I see why it's fucking up, because motherfuckers are leaving comments right now. Anyways, the next comment, it's none other than this channel's very own official Asian, and his name is Robo Igert. Konnichiwa. And Robo says, Great show as always, son of man. Thanks for the laughs. I'm very excited for the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. The spoilers sound epic. Hey, Holia had been making, messing around. Okay, in case you guys don't know, Holia is his wife. All right, she's a, she's a badass woman. We love her on this channel. Anyways, Holia had been messing around with AA art. And she decided to make some of you. Oh, I sent them to your email. A few are of her describing it to AI and the others are referenced from an actual appearance. She hopes you like them. Cheers. Hashtag. And uh, I actually have. Uh, <laughs> he sent me a bunch of shit to my email, man. It's a creepy ass shit. Uh, so he says that the first few are are her describing me to the AI. And this is what the AI thought I look like. Holy fuck. Let me go back to that one because that was creepy as fuck. These are creepy as fuck too. Uh, so she described me to the AI and this is what the AI thought I look like. Oh, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Fucking A without even seeing me, the AI. That came really fucking close. I'm not gonna lie. Creepy as fuck. Uh, let's see some other ones. Oh, this one. Did, did they like, did like Asian girls? Did you tell them I'm Asian? Why does everybody think I'm Asian? What the fuck? Anyways. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, that one looks like a cartoon character. And that one really looks like me. <laughs> These are reference. I guess she put a picture of me and then told the AI to change it or something or make it. These are creepy as fuck. They looks that guy looks possessed. It's shit. That's scary. Let's see some more, everybody. Um, and then there. Oh my god! And then this one, I look like a fucking Taliban. What the fuck? 
like, hey man, this is this is crazy. This could be like my 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 brothers and shit from another country. Oh, Anthony Timmons is here. Cheers, Anthony Timmons. <laughs> We read some of your comments. Oh, they, they, I like now these ones. I like a lot. These kind of look like this could be like my brother, <laughs> my cousin of mine. Hey, you know what I'm saying? These look crazy, bro. Uh, kind of scary that the AI uh makes me. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. That motherfucker like that with the hair with the fucking orange bandana. That guy looks cool as fuck. He looks like Captain. The one in the middle, they all look. You know what? Those two look like they could be Captain Jack Sparrow. I could be Captain Jack Sparrow's son in the next movie. You motherfuckers. I could look just like that. The one on the left looks crazy. I don't know if I could trust that motherfucker. I would not buy weed from that fucking guy. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god. Uh, fucking crazy ass, scary ass shit. AI is dangerous, you all. Uh, <laughs> I just look at these. I actually, uh, I went to my private account somewhere in the internet. One of you found it. Don't say anything. But I went to my private account, uh, personal account, and I actually put one of these photos on it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, thank you for sending me those, uh, fucking robo, you fucking guards. Holia, Holia made those. That's kind of crazy. Hey, Holia, you need to get back to work and make some money for robo. Stop fucking around the computer, making pictures of me and shit. Yeah, cheers, robo! <laughs> Looks like Charles Manson. Oh my god, you're right, bro. No, 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 this, this, this scared me. When I saw them, I was like, especially because they're all like, I kind of scared me the fuck. I was like, what the fuck is this shit, man? Uh, scary stuff, man. I'm scary stuff. I can't wait till people start making deep fakes of me. Uh, porn deep fakes where I'm getting fucked by somebody. That'll be badass. Anyways, uh, Polly Shore on the Polly Shore uh, killed Richard Simmons video. Be bezel bunge, bezel bunge, puts a laughing face. I guess he thought it was funny. Bezel be bezel bunge, bezel bunge. I don't know how to say your name. Cheers. Thank you for commenting. Oh, also on the potty shore, killed Richard Simmons. Street Team Tony. Oh, this guy goes. LOL. This guy sounds like he'd be fun to have a few nose beers with. Awesome content. Keep up the great work. Oh, cheers, Tony. <laughs> a few nose beers? Like cocaine beers? Or what are you talking about? I've never heard that term, nose beers, so I don't know what that means. Uh, let me know. Unfortunately, I can't drink beers anymore uh, because of my digestive health. And so that's why I'm drinking daiquiris now. And I, I, took, I took two shots of tequila before we started the show, too. Oh, yeah, cheers! Anyways, I miss beer. I'm not going to lie. I really do miss beer. Oh well. Um on the Polly Shore video comments resurrection says even 2008 YouTube can't handle this one. No, no. You're absolutely right. They couldn't. And I'll tell you why. Got motherfucker right here. So the, this, this show would thrive in the 90s. If YouTube was back in the 90s and shit, this show would be thriving. We'd have millions of subscribers, uh, you know, and shit right now. If, if the internet was popular in the 90s and we had a show back then, this show in the 90s. But right now, there's a lot of pussies out there. 
And they're all like, oh, why is he wearing makeup? Oh, why is he yelling? Oh, what is happening? And, and that's why we don't get subscribers. And then James Gunn's all like, I don't like what he's saying about me. Copyright strike. Fuck you, James Gunn. So, yeah, uh, we're like, we're being de de defeated and, and, and attacked from, from every angle nowadays. But that's the, that's the culture we live in. It's a bunch of haterism. It's a bunch of fucking haters out there. Uh, that's fine. We're going to keep going. Like I told you, subscribe to our other backup channels. I'm going to make more backup channels and backup channels to those backup channels. And they're never going to take us down. All right. So just make sure you look out for that shit. Uh, we might get banned tonight. I'm showing you a Deadpool and shit. Wait, let's keep going. Thank you for commenting. Comment resurrect. Oh, Anthony Tibbetts, I'm about to read your fucking message. Stop redacting. Well, I don't know what racist stuff you're saying. It's, your messages are getting redacted, but you better quit it. <laughs> I've been watching Royal Rumble videos on YouTube the past couple of days. There's some good shit back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we'll get to the wrestling. I know I can't show the wrestling anymore, but we're going to get, I'll give, like, in a, in a week or two, uh, you'll see a video where I'm going to give you links to my Discord, and we'll be watching the What's First. Summer Slams first, and then All In, Wembley. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the sh Sun should have been a counselor video. He'll be in jail before the ink dries on the arrest warrant. Not famous, and broke as shit. Guilty as charged, Your Honor, and she'll go right back for more because she's a moron. It's a sad reality. Yeah, no, it's even sadder because I mean, he's talking about bad baby and her boyfriend beating the shit out of her. Uh, it's even worse because the motherfucker, uh, she didn't even, she didn't even have him arrested or nothing. The next day, she's posting pictures holding, hugging, and kissing him with a black eye and her face all bruised. She doesn't care. She's a dumbass. So yeah, that's you know, she's that kind of girl. She likes to you know, you hit her hard and she likes it. I don't know. This is some people. Timmons also said on the Bill Juice. Tim Burton's trauma was a blessing because he made some good content. And they fucking sexually molested him or whatever they did to him as a child. It gave him a good artistic mind for the future. Uh, but Timmons says, that shit has to come from somewhere. He must have really had a fucked up childhood. Tim Burton movies make some really messed up movies. Tim Burton's make some messed up movies, but they're really good. Yeah, I remember that very first thing that made him famous. It was called like Arnold or Vincent. Vincent. It's like some little boy, a little depressed boy and shit. And when he was trying to like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I forget. I forgot. He was just depressed and shit. It was just fucked up. And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? There's another claymation movie. And it's called Max and Mindy or some ass like that. And that one's super fucked up, bro. And and messed up the stories. I was just like, what the fuck am I? I don't know. Don't watch that. I don't even know why I'm even telling you. You're going to go search it and fuck your mind up. Uh, anyways, thank you, Timmons, for commenting. Fucking guy. Uh, Timmons says, on the Dracula movie, I don't know yet. I need to see the trailer first, but on the so from the sound of it, I'll pass on this one. I'm waiting for Nosferatu. I'm waiting for Nosferatu too. Nosferatu is going to be badass and shit. I just know it. Johnny Depp's daughter's in it. Willem Dafoe and, and, and fucking uh, Beast. Whatever that guy's name is. And there's some fucking some other chicks and shit. There's going to be gore and gothic. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. That's what I say. Nosferatu is going to be great. I can't wait for it. Uh, I don't know about this movie. This movie sounds kind of gay. That's the only reason why I'm interested in it. But we'll see. We'll see how, 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 uh, how gay it gets. All right. I don't know. Might not be on my level. Oh, let me let me refresh this. Make sure this is. Yes, this is the last comment on the Cinnamon public service announcement that I just fucking uh, posted. Uh, DJ New Kid just subscribe to the backup channels. Like I said, I just posted that video like maybe 30 minutes ago. Uh, and it has the links to the backup channels. So subscribe to them in case we get banned tonight. So I'm showing you Deadpool. All right. That's the way it works. Anyway, thank you very much, motherfuckers, for commenting. Whatever you send me, your social media, I'll post here. But before we end the comments, we have none other than uh, our, uh, this channel's very own, Gomer Kyle, leaving us 
with his weekly redneck advice. Here we go. Hey, this is Gomer's Redneck Advice of the Week, short number two, and I will tell you the advice after the story. This week, I have been looking at Twitter like a lot of us have, and uh, the politics on there is toxic. We all know that shit. So anyway, I was looking at one side and the other side, and then the right side surprised me this week. And I think it's always been there, I just didn't want to see it. And uh, it was these people who were crying about porn stars and people of other faiths voting for Trump. And you know who I'm talking about. And uh, they're really getting on my nerves. We need all the help we can get. Just shut the fuck up. On this side, we have them lefties. And you know the lefties over here. They're crying because the bullet missed Trump. Well, you know, people are like, Donor, what do you do in your world to get away from these problems? I'm like... Well, I mean, I just go out in the middle of the woods or country somewhere where I live, and I stand there and look up at the sky, take a breath, and I chill out. And uh, I said, but if that don't work, you know what really makes me feel good? Just to say fuck you to somebody. Cheers, that's my advice. Cheers, Gomer, and fuck you. Oh, yeah, we love you. And remember, it's always live. Bitches, that's how we do on this channel. Thank you all for commenting. We're done with that ass. Let's move on to this week's celebrity bullshit. And let's get this show on the road. Get ready for this week's weekly pop culture breakdown. And I don't have a white, sober, Mormon, Protestant motherfucker running the channel. Instead, you got this drunk tranny over here uh, running it. And so I just spoiled the last thing. But don't worry, we'll get to that later. That's at the end. <laughs> We're going to start off first with none other than that son of a fucking whale himself, Brendan Fraser, who apparently has been cast to play Dwight D. Eisenhower. Are they going to perform liposuction on this son of a bitch? How the fuck? How the fuck is, is he going to play Eisenhower? Huh? Didn't make no sense. Now, I'm going to lie, man. I mean, I don't know when they're going to start filming this movie. It might be a year from now. This motherfucker could dramatically somehow get into amazing fucking shape like the way he looked when he was George of the Jungle. Um... But Dwight Eisenhower is supposed to be old and fragile and shit. Something that for sure this guy isn't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there, I, I'm not doubting his, the capabilities of him acting because I think he could fucking do it. Yeah, he's got the chops. He really does. All right. The problem is, is that he doesn't fit the look for fuck's sakes. All right, now I know I'm exaggerating. He's not that big. That's a fucking suit he was wearing and all this bullshit. He's still pretty big, all right? He's still really big and tall. I don't think Dwight Eisenhower was fucking as tall as this son of a bitch was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I would have to see the transformation, the makeup, the prostate. I don't know what they're going to do, all right? And I'll tell you the truth because... Uh, fucking when Christian Bale played Dick Cheney, holy shit, that was amazing. Uh, it was amazing. He did it perfect, and he looked like it, and he gained some weight for the prosthetics, and it's just amazing the way Christian Bale, Bale, Bale Dale did it and shit. Um... I don't know, what's his name, uh, Thanos Bro Brolin, when he did Bush, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad, but he was, I, I think Bush needed to be skinnier, I don't like Dana Carvey's Bush, that fucking idiot, uh, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see whenever this, uh, when, when, whenever this fucking trailer comes out, or we get a first set picture, but this is kind of weird fucking news. I just wanted to put this in the pop culture and shit, but whatever. Anyways, that's not really a fuck up. It's more like a what the fuck. 
Uh, but speaking of fuck-ups, the Billy Ray Cyrus continues with his fucking messy divorce from his uh, half his age, younger wife, Fire Rose, Fire Crotch, whatever you want to call her. Uh, apparently she's a, a felon, a fraud, and used his money to uh, get breast uh, reduction. She had cancer, some ass, took all his money, and, and the judge put a stop to it and ordered her to stop using his credit cards because she had already spent like $100,000, you know, after he kicked her out and shit. Well, now she's release releasing this audio of this drunk asshole uh, pretty much being an asshole, trying to, uh, you know, bash him before the court. Kind of like Amber Turd was releasing those videos of Johnny Depp being the drunk. So this is this is what's, what she released. I want you all to listen to this ass. It's 9.15, you idiot. It's not 9.15. I needed to leave two hours ago. No, you didn't. You can still leave and get yeah, there and... No. Get out of here. I'm not, going to, I'm not in no place to go do a show. I, was I had to go when I was ready to go. If you would have just the shut the up, if you would have just left it to Sorry, alone. I should If you would have left it alone when I told you it's done. Now I'm really pissed. You once again showed me you will not listen. I don't know who the you think you are, but you will not Listen, no, and this please. ain't about your bracket, this ain't about your surgery, this ain't about nothing. This is about you being a selfish I don't think you're real smart. I've changed my damn mind on that What you are is a selfish No. I'll tell you what, that's what you are. You're a selfish I'm ass. Not that you okay. cannot continue to walk all over me and think I'm that I'm going to go me. out in public with your dumb and have you do this sh anywhere you want in front of whoever? Are you referring to you screaming at me right now? Um, this would not be happening if you would have just shut your mouth. Look what a mess you've made. What a dumb thing to do. Now that's dumb because you have to know I will not tolerate that. Sh you just don't. I thought you'd be happy. No, f you, f you, you know better than that. F it. Dad's like me in 10 years, me and my girlfriend, me telling her, you fucking idiot, I'm fucking pissed, you're, you're supposed to leave two hours ago and shit, my makeup's fucking running down my face, you're fucking up, and gas, and stop using my lipstick, you dumb bitch. <laughs> oh my god, well I mean, I don't know, you don't know the context, this motherfucker, he's late to the Academy Awards to go see his, his, his daughter, Monty Cyrus, go shake her tits on, on the stage. And this bitch is taking too long, pampering a pussy and shit. So, you know, and he's drunk and he's upset, you know, so. It is what it is, you know, that's it is what it is. That's what you get when you marry someone half your age, you dumbass. She's never gonna be on time. The only one time I went out with a girl that was younger than me. When I, it was just a date and shit. And, and uh, we, I bought tickets to the to Alamo Draft House. They have really strict rules there, you know, because it's really bougie and shit. And, uh, and then uh, I went and go pick her up, and I told her, the movie starts at 7. I'm going to pick you up at 6.30. We need to be there on time. And shit. Okay. Fucking bitch. I get there to pick her up at 6.30. She doesn't come out of her house till fucking 7.20. Bitch. When we got to the theaters, of course they didn't let us in. And they didn't give my money back either because of the rules they have. They close the doors. They don't let you in. You're late. That's it. No refunds. I was so fucking pissed. She's lucky she let me fuck her that night. Because I would have been really angry if she, if I wouldn't have got her laid. That's all I'm saying. Anyways. Fuck you, Billy Ray Cyrus. And fuck you, Fire Rose. You dumbasses. Y'all don't belong together. Cheers. We're moving on. Yeah, Rob Zombie. Son of a bitch. Fucking, that guy doesn't shower. He showers like once a month and shit. That chick likes it. She likes the smelly dick. That's why she was with him. Anyways. Speaking of dumbasses, Tequashi69 or whatever it is, dumbass, Daniel Hernandez, this fucking idiot, Puerto Rican son of a bitch. Um, 
The IRS raided his house and they took all his belongings because he owes all these fucking... Oh my god, I have to stop everything because out of fucking nowhere, Timothy Nosey is here, old G woke packer. There is one teaching that is very much forgotten. You are not to be a person that is oversensitive. I gotta interrupt the show for the OG woke packers that I got fucking intros for. Them motherfucker chairs! Timothy Nosey, thank you for being here! This fucking piece of shit, Takashi69, is not that important, anyways. You're more important than this fucking dick. Chairs, Nosey! We love you on this channel. Long time no see, motherfucker. Anyways, um, yeah, the IRS raided his house because this idiot. Thought that he could just, he could, you know, because he's, he's always been poor as fuck. So he's never actually worked or had a paycheck. But all of a sudden he's rich and famous because there are a bunch of idiots that subscribe and like his music. And now he's got a lot of money. And the fucking idiot was making millions. And he didn't know that you have to fucking do a, a W-2 at the end of the year and, and pay taxes. He did, just like a bunch of other celebrities, the first time they get money, they go crazy and they don't realize you're going to pay tax at the end of the year, you idiot. So yeah, he owes millions of dollars for for tons of years of being an idiot. So they confiscated his ass. And by ass, I mean these really, really fucking expensive cars that he just completely devaluized by fucking, I don't know what he did. He grabbed a fucking paint bucket and decided to be artistic. The idiot. Anyways, so uh, yeah, these two luxurious, fucking disgusting looking cars went up for auction. And uh, apparently, the 2009 Lamborghini Uranus, I think that's what it's called, Lamborghini Uranus, it only had 49,000 miles because not even street legal, that son of a bitch couldn't even drive it around. He gets a ticket every time he does. Um, it sold <clears throat> for $175,000. It probably cost more than that, but since he shed all over it with paint, uh, the value went down. Fucking dumbass. And then the, the, what is it, 2017 Bentley Continental GT Speed, also under 40,000 miles, uh, because I, I doubt this idiot doesn't even have a legal driver's license, so he couldn't even drive it. He just bought it and had it there in the front of his garage, you know, like a dumbass for, the, for his music videos. That shit went for $85,000. They say that this is still nothing because the, the government still needs more money from his bitch ass. Uh, and nobody buys his music anymore. Only a bunch of idiots. So, uh, yeah. He's over there. He ran away to Puerto Rico so they don't catch him because it's technically that's not the USA. It's just like some some, some little country we own that, that always asks us for money and food. Fuck him. And fuck that guy. And fuck all his shit. You owe taxes because you're a dumbass. You pay your shit, you idiot. We're moving on. Takashi's pissing me off with his bullshit. Ah. Uh, well, it finally happened. It finally hit him. Yes, my friends, after years of being incarcerated, R. Kelly is finally getting depressed. He's finally saying, why, why did I piss on that little girl? Why did you do it, you sick, disgusting pervert? That's what we all want to know. But anyways, here we go, my friends. This is what the great R. Kelly has been reduced to. Uh, and it's a damn shame. It really is. And you're about to hear why it's a damn shame. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Here we go.
he still got it. He still got it. What a damn shame. What a damn shame that such a beautiful fucking voice could come out of a fucking piece of shit human being. What a damn shame. You know, God could have blessed the son of man with that kind of voice. I wouldn't have pissed on little girls, God. But no, the great God of the Jews decided to bless this pervert instead. And here he is in jail, cleaning up fucking, I don't know, blood from a, from a fight, from they killed somebody, there. there's blood on the floor, he's cleaning it up, that's his job. Pissing ass from somebody dying there, and he's there singing, depressed. Ah. Life, my friends, it's, it, life is one big joke. Alright, it's one big joke. Cause pieces of shit like this. Get blessed over hard-working motherfuckers like the rest of us. That's all I'm gonna say. Fuck you, R. Kelly. I hope you get fucked every night in there. And pissed on. And shitted on with your mouth open, you son of a bitch. I hope they do it to you every night while you're in there. Son of a bitch. Coming over here. Tucking down. But since we're being fucking dicks. And we're talking about hateful stuff. Let's give it up for the greatest thing that happened this weekend. Because Harvey Weinstein was hospitalized yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, this piece of shit was hospitalized. Guess what, fellas? With COVID-19. Not the new COVID strains that are weaker. Not the COVID and this 2022. The original COVID-19. That shit that kills you. He's got it. And he just got double pneumonia, meaning on both of his lungs, he has pneumonia. This motherfucker is dead by Saturday night. And he deserves it, too. I hope Sama Hayek goes and visits him tonight. Tonight. And just stands over him as he dies. Smokes a cigarette. Sama Hayek. You bastardo. Puto. Pedazo de mierda. Te lo mereces. Oh, fucking Salma with her big titties there, smoking, telling him off as he dies. Oh, yeah, and all the other women he raped. I hope they all go there tonight to visit him as he slowly dies because he's running out of breath because he can't breathe. He's, he's, he's drowning. Yeah, piece of shit. I hope, I hope, I hope he does. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. Son of man wishes this piece of shit to die. He deserves it. This motherfucker was in jail and they turn it over. The first rape conviction turned over. Oh, you're free. Fuck you. You don't want to be in jail? Fine. You're going to die, son of a bitch. Karma. Karma's a bitch. And for all the years of sexual molestation that, that all those women have endured, you're taking this ass, motherfucker. You're drowning. Sorry I'm being so morbid. But this son of a bitch deserves it. And for anybody who thinks he doesn't, fuck you too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you, Harvey Weinstein and shit. You're dead. By Saturday. Uh, I'm putting it down. That's what I'm saying. We're done. No more. Fuck you, pop culture breakdown. Celebrities pissed me off this week. But I did cut it short. Because we have a lot of comic book stuff. And I am going to spoil the entire Deadpool movie. And you know how that's going to go. So let's get right into it. Alright. Here's tonight's weekly comic book nerd shit. This week, I don't know why, but a ski bitty, and I don't even know if I'm saying this right, I know what this is, but ski bitty toilet movie 
franchise, maybe a TV series, live action, is in the works from Michael Bay. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, just type on YouTube, Ski Bitty Toilet. And Ski Bitty is spelled like S-K-I-B-I-D-I, -I -I, Space Toilet. Ski Bitty Toilet. And click on the first video. It's probably going to be a short video. They're like a minute or two minutes long. They're short. But I swear to you, you're going to be confused and annoyed. And every video you click on is going to be exactly that. Oh, my God. It's these toilets with heads on it. And they're walking around and they're singing, saying some, some fucking uh, some stupid song that's going to stay in your head. I don't like it. Um, and then there's these humans with like TVs or like lights on their heads and they're fighting a war against the toilets and there's no dialogue. It's just the toilets going, skimmy, 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 singing a stupid song. And that's all you hear. <laughs> Michael Bay is on acid or doing drugs or is having early dementia or psychosis or something because how the fuck can you make anything anything watchable from this stupid youtube shit that somebody made no one's gonna i promise you you're gonna spend million this studio whoever the fuck buys this stupid piece of shit idea this fucking studio is going to spend millions of dollars because, oh, it's Michael Bay, and they're going to give him money to do this ass. And no one, and I mean no one, is going to watch it, and the critics are going to tear it apart. And not only that, the audience is going to tear it apart. It's going to be the biggest failure of all time, even worse than Marvel and DC and any ass we've ever seen in our lives. Just you wait until this bullshit comes out. You just have to go watch one video on YouTube and you're going to be like, what? Yeah. And that's what, and you can, oh, let me see another video. I clicked on the wrong one. No, you didn't. I promise you. The first video you click on, you're going to think I must have clicked on the wrong one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's what it is. Every video you click will be that. Ah, <sighs> my God. Yes, Timmons. We do have six people watching. So you better stop jinxing us before three people leave. Fuck sakes. Anyways, I'm done talking about skinny bitty ass toilets. Fuck you, Michael Bay. You dumbass. You're going you're gonna to get fucking laughed at all over Hollywood when you make that stupid dick. Anyways. Speaking of Hollywood franchises that don't know when to quit or don't know when they... Fucking should just call home or wait 10 years to make another one. Here we go. Jurassic Park continues. They have Scarlett Yost Hansen now starring in it. And apparently it's going to be called Jurassic World Rebirth. So. I think think and this is just me guessing because their original one was jurassic park and it was about always trying to make a park or, or showing off dinosaurs and ass and then the next one was jurassic world because it was like disney world instead of jurassic park this one's called disney world this sounds like they're going to try to restart the theme park again jurassic world rebirth oh don't worry we're going to do the theme park again and this time nothing bad's going to happen but guess what because it's a movie a jurassic park movie something bad's going to happen the dinosaurs are going to get loose and people are going to run around like crazy and shit and scarlet yost is going to be have big titties and a big ass and she's going to save the day uh i'm in that's all i'm going to say hell yeah you had me at Scarlet Yost with big tits and big ass saving the day. That's all I need. I don't give a fuck what's happening. Could be another fucking bullshit Marvel movie. Scarlet Yost gonna be there in tight leather fucking, you know, uh, uh, suit. Big titties and big ass running around and shit. I'll watch it. 
Like that shitty Lucy movie. They fucking shoved drugs up her fucking ass or something. They tried to smuggle her. And the drugs blew up inside of her. That's what happens a lot. And, um... And yeah, she started, like, getting powers and shit. It was crazy. It was crazy. I don't know if you've ever seen Lucy. Uh, it was a shitty ending. Uh, but at the end, it doesn't matter because Carter Yost is in it. And that's all you need to make a good entertainment. A beautiful, hot, unattainable woman. That's all you need. Make you some money. Aw, oh, yeah. Yes! Carter Yost. I love you. And I'm probably going to like this movie. I'm not going to lie. I like all Jurassic Park movies. Uh, mostly because of the dinosaurs. I'm a big dino fanatic. I really am. All right, all right. Uh, something that happened this week that, uh, honestly, doesn't excite me. Because this movie has been in the process of being made for the past five years. But apparently, actually more than five years. Uh, but apparently, Todd McFarlane, they finally finished the script for the Spawn movie. And will start production soon, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be called King Spawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be about. They say there's a comic book art that's called King Spawn. I don't have it. I have a few Spawn comic books. I have, uh... I actually have a few of the original ones. I have, like, like the first three or four issues. I forget which ones I have. But I do have the first one and the first... Like, cause I bought them back then. I didn't know it was going to be popular like that. But I bought them when I was a kid. So I have them. <laughs> Um, and then I have, uh, maybe a, a small arc from, like, five, no, more than five, maybe from about ten years ago, an arc that I collected for a little bit. Um, but the presidents involved and shit, it was crazy. Uh, anyways, um, but I don't know what this is, uh, I don't know what this is gonna be, I know that Jim, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, is going to be one of the fucking detectives and shit. And, of course, Spawn, even since five years ago, the, he had already said it's going to be Jamie, uh, Jamie Foxx. So, Jamie Foxx is going to be Spawn, which I think he's good. He's a good actor to be Spawn. As long as he doesn't try to be funny. That's all I know is, like, as long as he doesn't try to be funny, I'll be okay. Because I know he's a funny guy and shit, but we don't need no funny shit, uh, Jamie. To be so fucking depressed and serious. You're a hell spawn for fuck's sake. You, you lost your soul. You're never going to get your old life back. Let's get some depressedness. Some fucking real horror in this. It's supposed to be rated R, supposedly. Now with the uh, uh, with the, all these movies being rated R, it has a good chance. It has a good chance. But a good chance of being a really good movie, and I think this is going to be a good movie, is that Glenn Powell, this fucking hot son of a bitch, is hot all over Hollywood right now. A motherfucker's in Twisters. That motherfucker came out in um, uh, Top Gun. Uh, this son of a bitch, apparently, his next movie is going to be none other than Edgar Wright's The Running Man Remake. This is one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. If you guys ever seen The Running Man, it's so fucking sick. It's from another, like, dystopian future. And the governments are fucking crazy, you know? They control the media. Well, it's kind of like today. They control the media and, 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 and everything, and they entertain people. Everything sucks. People are hungry and shit, but they entertain people with TV TVs. And as long as people are entertained, nobody complains. And so the main show that they have is called The Running Man. And what they do is they get convicts or people that are on death row. And they throw them in an arena. And they have these gladiators. And the gladiators chase after them. And it's it's and they have to survive, you know. And then and people, people they bet on people how they're going to survive a gladiator or going to a another, another 
area of the it's like a maze another area of this place and there's gonna be another guy and it's fucking crazy arnold is like a actually a, a soldier that just disobeys a command he was told to drop some bombs on a little city and he didn't want to and then the the other soldiers dropped the bombs and then the then the governments because they were taking orders and the government got mad because I was like, you motherfucker, you didn't take orders. And so then when the people got mad, the government blamed him. They said, oh, this terrorist. And he did it because he didn't want to take an order. And uh, and so then he's he's basically the running man. He's thrown he's thrown in there. Uh, yeah, he's going to be great in this, man. This pretty boy. This pretty boy is on his way to be like the next Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. I'm telling you, the motherfucker's on his way with twisters. He's got it, man. He's got it. I can't wait to see this, and Edgar Wright is perfect to be doing something like The Running Man. Mm -hmm. He's going to give it a retro look. It's going to be modern, but he's going to give it a retro look, I bet you. Edgar Wright's like this guy who really likes the retro looks. That's why he wanted to do the Ant-Man, and they didn't let him, those dumbasses. I bet you his Ant-Man would have been way better than the bullshit Marvel pissed out. Richard Dawson and Jerry Vin Jerry Jesse Ventura was in it. You're right. Maria Conchita. Yeah, yeah. She was that chick uh that that came out with with Arnold. That chick was hot, you know. She always remind that, that chick remind me of Rosie Perez. Uh but Rosie Perez has some nice big titties. Oh yeah. I always liked her, man. Rosie Perez was hot as fuck. Um, anyways, the running man's such a badass movie, bro. I remember one of the gladiators' name was Sub Zero, and I thought it was like Mortal Kombat and shit. Uh, Jesse Ventura was Captain America, or I forget what his name was. He's a gladiator, some fucking guy, you know. He had some arms and shit, some metal arms. That's like crazy shit, bro. Sub Zero, I think they fought Sub Zero in a in an ice ice rink, and, and he, yeah, yeah, it's, it's some Asian dude. Oh man, this this is a good movie. I can't. I I I I, haven't, I wanna go. I think I'm gonna watch it this weekend. Fuck it. I have it. I have it. I'm gonna watch it this weekend because now I got the the itch to watch this fucking movie now. Reminisce on it for sure. I'm gonna watch, and it's super gory too. I remember as a kid, this movie's good. Uh, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to see a trailer. I know this guy's gonna kill it. It's gonna knock it out of the park for sure. Edgar Wright too. He's a he's a damn good director. I think he's perfect to be doing this kind of ass. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. We're moving on. Cheers to the Running Man. I can't wait. You see, not everything's me hating on stuff, fellas. Not everything. Not everything. Not everything is hateful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the fat dude was. I don't remember. Wasn't it Sub Zero? Was the Asian dude? Was Sub Zero? Was a fat dude? Wasn't it? It's like a sumo guy, I don't know. There's different ones. It's, it's been a while. It's, it's been like over 20 years since I've seen it, for sure. That's why I want to see it this weekend, because now I want to see all those memories. Shaun of the Dead, yeah. Shaun of the Dead's awesome. Shaun of the Dead's so good. Edgar Wright, Edgar Wright's so good, man. I think he's really underrated. I think the motherfuckers, they hate on him because he's a little weird and shit. And he looks weird, too. He looks like one of these guys who could fucking uh, assassinate Trump. I'm not saying he would. I'm saying he looks like one of those guys. Anyways, let's move on, guys. Uh, because apparently, the latest... Oh, Dynamo! This motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I rather miss it. Now I really want to watch The Running Man. I'm going to watch it tomorrow for sure. It's like... After I come back from work and, and, and I've done all the videos or whatever, I'm going to watch The Running Man for sure, you motherfuckers. Uh, anyways, uh, there is a new rumor going around. And the new rumor is that apparently, because you know what happens is sometimes some of these movies, like studios, studios fund movies. And, and you know, it's like a Sony movie and a Marvel movie, a Disney movie. And they, they fund movies and little studios and they make movies and shit. Uh, but sometimes there's people that make independent, they make the movies, you know, some of them, they have money and they make a movie and then they go to studios and they, sh they shop the movie around. They show studios, hey, this is the movie you want to boom Lionsgate and then they pay the money to distribute it all across America. 
because it costs a lot of money to show it in all the theaters. You need a company to do that. And so they shop around. Well, this movie apparently has been being turned down by every studio in Hollywood. And the current rumor is being stated that Peter fucking Dinklage, the Toxic Avenger, is unwatchable to movie studios. And nobody wants to distribute this ass, they're saying. Now, I will say one thing. I don't like Peter Dinklage. I think he's an asshole. A pretentious asshole who thinks he's better than everybody. Who thinks he's better than the little people that, that, that are smaller than him too. He does. He does. He thinks he's fucking taller and better than everybody else. Fuck you. Just because he's got some money and he was in Game of Thrones. He wants to put down his own kind. The own people that fucking that, that bred him. The only reason that he has talent. And he wants to put them down, son of a bitch, and take their roles. That's why I don't like him. He's a fucking racist against his own people. Anyways, I will say that I was excited about to see this movie. Because from the reactions from the trailer that were shown, they showed it was not a trailer. It was like a whole little scene from the movie they showed to people. And they were saying that it was very, very reminiscent of uh old school toxic avenger as far as the gore and kill the way he was killing people i mean that he sliced the guy in half with the thing bleh, like that and you saw blood and everything i don't know if it's all cg or if it's actual gore uh i hope it's actual gore i'm getting tired of the cg shit we'll get more into it later on tonight when i talk about some ass um but i think i understand why the studios are saying, no, we don't want this. Because they probably are being super fucking faithful to the original. And if you guys, and I just recently saw these a few months ago. Uh, I saw all three of them. I was bored on a weekend and I watched them. The original ones. Those movies are very fucked up. They're not for kids. Hell, I don't even think some of them are for adults. There's a lot of disgusting stuff. There's a lot of perverted stuff. There's a lot of fucked up shit in it. And if they're being faithful and, and, and pretty much being in the same fucking, you know, uh, insanity as the original ones, there's no studio, especially in this piece of shit, pussy ass, woke culture. There's no studio that would say, yeah, this is not going to offend anybody. Let's show it. No, they're all like, well, we can't show this. No, that's offensive. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, what? That's perverted. Oh, that's women. No, not that. And shit like that. There's no way in hell. If they're being faithful to the original, there's no way in hell there's going to be a studio now, right now in Hollywood that's going to want to say, yes, let's put this up. Because this is going to get, like, if it's being, if, it, I don't know, I haven't seen it. But if it's being faithful, that this is, this is going to get people riled up. That it's sexist, it's disgusting, it's perverted, it's going to be all like that and shit. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. But the current rumor is that studios are denying it. They don't want to sponsor it or, or distribute it. And they think it's unwatchable. It's probably unwatchable by this pussy generation. I will agree with them on that. If you want to make the most money, then yeah, this movie is not the one that's going to make you a fucking billion dollars. It's only going to get some sick, sad motherfuckers like this motherfucker right here going to... And you know what? Not me, because I don't pay for ass. I just download it and shit. I, I, I don't pay for nothing anymore. Fuck you. All you studios. I don't give a shit. I got, you took enough of my money for years. And ever since COVID and Joe Biden took over, I said no more. I'm becoming a 100% official pirate that's all i've ever been jack sparrow all the way motherfucker you know how we do and we do what it is that we do fuck you peter dinklage everyone's trashing you in the comments i think timmons is saying you need to tell that peter dinklage that he used to toss midgets as a sport back in the 80s you dumbass you piece of shit <laughs> 
And we use homemade catapults. Timmons says. Fucking dick. Chairs. We don't like uh, fucking racist uh, shit talk toxic people like like Peter Dinklage on this channel. All right. We're respectful on this channel, you dick. You better not forget it, Dinklage. Pussy. Anyways. We got some some leaks coming in from the leakers. They're saying that next season on the boys for the boys. Season five, the finale. That Ashley's powers are actually going to be like Medusa from Marvel. So her hair is going to grow back and she's going to be able to control it. That is going to be so cool. And here I thought she was, her head was growing big or getting all deformed and shit. Oh my God. So the hair, I, I see it now. I see why her hair, boy, why her head's looking like that. Because if she's, her hair is going to fucking be controlled. That's what's happening. It's growing out of her. That is so badass for her because she slowly lost all her hair throughout the fucking past three seasons. Um, so that's kind of cool that, you know, it's, it's bittersweet is the way I say it. But I don't think Ashley's going to survive the series. They're going to kill her. She's going to die. Um, it'd be badass if Ashley is the one that kills Homelander. You know, because that'd be so fucking pimp. Uh, but no, it's not. I mean, I think she's gonna die. Like a sacrificial lamb or something. Uh, but we'll see what the fate ends up. But they announced today at Comic Con. Y'all motherfuckers. They're gonna do a boys prequel called Vought Rising. And they're bringing back Jason or James Echo, whatever this fucking guy's name is. And uh, this Anya Nakash or whatever this fucking Jewish big nose hottie, hottie, Stormfront and Soldier Boy. They're bringing them back, and they're going to tell the story of Vought and how the boys and everything got started. This is so cool, because we've only seen the stories in Flashback and that stupid little cartoon uh, flashback that, that Black Noir had in his head in that one episode. Oh, and I fucking, I'm so happy they're bringing this hottie, this Jewish hottie back. God damn it, she's so hot. I always thought she was the hottest one, man. And I was so disappointed when the man they killed her. They they the 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 little boy zapped her, her fucking arms off and her legs. So she was she didn't have arms or legs. It was just like, you know, her head and the body like that. Limbless body. And she was all burnt. She looked like Deadpool. It sucked ass, you know. I was all like, ah, oh, why? Oh, she was so hot. I'm glad we're going to see more of this. We're probably going to see how Homelander got born. Soldier Boy is such a badass. He's basically Captain America, but he's such a fucking piece of shit dick. He's a dickhead. Oh my god, I just still remember that episode where they went in to his house or whatever and to talk to him. And he's there fucking like two old ladies. <laughs> and he's fucking the shit out of them too. It was badass. <laughs> He's all like, well, nobody knows how to knock anymore. I'm like, this fucking guy, this is crazy. It was a fucking dick. Um, damn it, I love the boys. And I am going to download, because I didn't get into Gen Z. But I, I can see now that even these shows, these side spinoff shows that are taking place, they're still being inserted within the story and they're relevant to it. Uh, they tie, they tie them in. They tie them in. They're pulling a whole Marvel thing where they're tying them in together. And that's so badass. So I gotta go back and watch Gen V. Uh, I think that's what it's called, Gen V. Because Season 2 is coming up. And they're probably gonna tie Season 2 into Season 5. Because there was new characters in this Season 4 of the boys that I didn't know who they were. And apparently they're from Gen V. So it makes sense. They're also making the boys Mexico. Uh... 
motherfuckers. It better be Mexicans because if I see any white motherfuckers in that pretending to be fucking Mexicans, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, but we'll see how that ass goes. And it better be in Spanish, too. We'll see how that ass goes. They can dub it for you American sons of bitches. But it's going to be authentic. It better be in Spanish. The boy's Mexico. Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait till this shit comes out. I really can't. I'm excited for it. All right. Let me get into the quick review. Too bad the cunt isn't here because he's the only one interested in this. And I'm probably going to lose all of you motherfuckers. But I'll try to go as fast as I can. All right. But I watch this bullshit and I actually like it. And so I got to review it. All right. It's what I do. So what do we do? All right. But the House of the Dragon. Uh, episode six, I think we're in. I don't remember. It starts off with Eamon uh, dismissing the council and then dismissing his mom and saying, you know what? You can go home and, you know, I don't know, sew or whatever it is you used to do, mom. We don't need you on the council anymore. Oh, you bitch. You went from being the queen regent to fucking, you know, uh, talking shit to the king and saying, you listen to us because we run the country. You don't do nothing. And now that Amon is in charge, he's like, no, you, no, mom, you don't do shit. Go fucking go be a lady. Let the men take care of shit. Ah, you're fired, bitch. <laughs> it was so badass. Oh. And then Amon goes to see his brother Aegon Targaryen, the king, and he's all burnt and shit. And he's being an asshole and he's pressing on his lungs and pushing down on him and he's telling him, what do you remember? <laughs> this guy's all scared because he's all like, my brother's going to kill me right here because he wants to be king. And he's like, I don't remember anything. I swear. I don't remember anything. <laughs> But fucking Laris, like a little worm, comes over here and he tells Aegon, Hey, sir, I'm fucking loyal to you and you're in danger. I know your your brother is king, right? Or regent or our replacement. You're in danger because you're still alive. And he tells Laris, please help me. And Laris is all like, I got you. I got you, my king. Ah. <laughs> So that, I know it's coming because Laris is actually going to help him escape the castle uh, before the blacks come over and, and, and finally take over. So that's going to happen. They're laying the seeds for that. Uh, but on the other side with the blacks, my queen, Rhaenyra, sends uh, Sir S Stefan Darklin over there to try to tame Sea Smoke. And at first the dragon lays down and, and so he can get on. And this guy's all like, I did it. I tamed it. And then the dragon gets up all pissed and burns the shit out of him. Oh, my God. There's another guy, one of the other dragon tamers. He gets burnt along with him. And the guy, I guess he he doesn't want to suffer. And you see the guy's on fire, but the guy just takes out a knife and slices his own. You see the blood come out. He's on fire, but you see the blood come out of his leg because he's just like, Clack. I don't want to burn. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. So, yeah, like, everyone's telling Rhaenyra, like, you're crazy. Like, you can't just have fucking, you know, people that are not Targaryens trying to ride dragons. They don't have the blood in them and shit. Uh, and I, that's when they start looking for, they're going to start looking for bastards. They didn't do it in this and this one. But they're going to, now they're going to start looking for bastards. People that, you know, the past kings fucked illegitimately. Because they have the blood of Targaryens. And they're going to be able to ride dragons. But in reality, it's bullshit. Anyone can ride a dragon. I think it's just the dragon has to like you. It has nothing to do with it. That's just something they made up, the Targaryens, so that they can look or seem powerful. But anyways, in King's Landing... Rhaenyra, since uh, they don't know how to fucking win the war, they don't have an army to to, to fight the war yet. Uh, they decide to try to sabotage, you know, the, the king's landing. And so she, because the people are starving, she sends little boats with food with the black flags on them. And the people are all like, oh, the queen cares about us, even though she's not here. She's the real ruler. And they start riding. And they almost kill Alicent and this other fucking autistic little girl, the queen. 
uh, because they know there's a big riot, but they barely escape. That, I, that's one of my favorite fucking parts of this episode is the whole riot. I can't show it all of it to you, but it's just crazy because even I started getting anxiety. I cannot stand being in large fucking crowds. I hate being in a crowded room. I mean, if it's not a a, a room crowded room of my friends. If it's strangers, I start getting anxious and shit, and I don't like it. Um, and I was watching this when the riots started happening, and they were getting surrounded by people, and, and they got pushed onto the wall, and it was giving me anxiety. I was all like, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Then the fucking guards just chopped somebody's arm off. Oh, it was so crazy what was happening. Um, so, oh my god. Hey, quit coughing. My dog's over there fucking coughing up, whatever. Calm down, go drink some water if you're coughing. You fucking guy. You're making noise. We're, we're live on the broadcast. <laughs> Anyways, that was my favorite part. The, uh, well, there's more more stuff that happens, but that was one of my favorite parts. So then Sea Smoke, uh, the dragon's lonely because he wants a rider, even though he just burnt that other son of a bitch that wanted to ride him. And then it goes and finds one of the bastards. It finds uh Adam. Adam, because there's two there's two of these black dudes. There's Adam and Alan. Alan is the other guy. Uh he's actually played by Bayek from Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, but this is Alan. And the dragon finds him and and pretty much begs him, come ride me. He's terrified because he's like, holy shit, it's gonna eat me. But it's cause the dragon they're, they're trying to say that the dragon finds people from the same bloodline, but I think that's bullshit. Uh, I think this guy looks a lot, honestly, I think he looks a lot like, I forget what his name was. The son from the first season, the gay one, that was married to Rhaenyra, who they killed, faked his own death, but he ran away with his boyfriend. That's not even in the books, they just added that there because they didn't want to kill the character, they didn't want to kill the gay guy. So he he ran away. He faked his own death and ran away with his fucking boyfriend. And uh, so he just f wants to find somebody, another. And, and since this guy's the same bloodline and he pretty much looks like him, he's black and has dreadlocks, the dragon wants him to be the rider. So that happens. Ah, But then we get into what everyone on the internet is talking about. And something that is not in the books. But here we go. Rhaenyra is talking to Messaria. Or, Alice, or what's this lady's name? Messaria. And they comfort her. And they start sniffing each other. And then lesbianism. And they're adding... Some kind of romance between Rhaenyra and Masaria because Damon is not there. Now the actresses claim, I think this is a lie. The actresses are claiming that this was not on the script. And when they were doing it and they were like that, that one of them, they were just improvising and one of them kissed, you know, started kissing, you know, her neck. She went with it, and then before you knew it, they were making out, and the director says, Cut! I just came! I love it! We're putting it on! Do it again! Actually, I need to come again. So that's uh, supposedly what happened. I don't know, I think from the very beginning, they had the intention of doing lesbianism in this fucking shit. Even though it's not in the book. The book has gay stuff, and there's nothing wrong with men being gay and pulling on each other's dicks. It's this bullshit about women kissing that pisses me off. Alright? This shouldn't be allowed. That's all I'm trying to say. But here we go. Now there's lesbianism and Game of Thrones. House of Dragon for everybody to see. Thank God a white male interrupts this perversion. You know? He interrupts his ass, and he tells Rhaenyra, Hey, Sea Smoke was spotted flying in the air and shit, the dragon, with a rider on its back. And Rhaenyra live, leaves fucking pissed. 
and Rhaenyra gets on her dragon and takes off to go find Sea Smoke and this new dragon rider to see if she has to fight him because she thinks it's one of the greens. Uh, that's how it ends. Uh, lesbianism. Yeah. Uh, I hope this doesn't become a big thing because this is not in a fucking book. If there's going to be another, like some four story shit they're going to add to it, it's going to piss me off, man. But I got uh, uh, spoilers because we know what's happening next. She's going to meet uh, fucking Adam. And Adam's all like, look, I'm, I'm I, the, the dragon chose me. What do you want? And she's going to be like, who do you serve? Do you serve me or the greens? And he's all, well, I serve money. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. I want riches. I want shit. And I'm a bastard Tigerian. So I want like lineage. I want claim. Don't take away the bastardness. And she's going to be like, if you fight for me with, with the dragon that you claimed and you fight for me, I'll take away your bastard and you'll be official Tigerian and you'll have riches. And he agrees. And so he's going to be the first of the new dragon riders. There's three more. The other one's going to be the, uh, I think it's Bela because they're changing it. I think it's going to be Bela who, who tames a wild dragon in the veil. And then it's going to be uh, the hammer guy who his daughter's dying i think his daughter's gonna die and that other drunkard um all off the white there'll be other those are the other two there are only be any four motherfuckers if i don't think they're gonna have because the book says that there's tons of people that try to tame dragons and they all die but after that guy just fucking got killed why would anyone else agree to go tame a dragon so i don't think the show's gonna be stupid the show's just gonna be like no one else and just all of a sudden they just found four motherfuckers and that's it no one else had to die uh so that's what's uh, i think that's that's coming next i think there's six seven eight i think there's only two episodes left so i still think that they're gonna end this with jay jay sarah's dying the two younger brothers getting captured by uh, oh only one actually no only the younger one gets captured by the in the in, uh, at sea one of them escapes the dragon gets shot while it's escaping with the boy and when the, when the dragon arrives back the dragon dies but the boy made it back to shore but the dragon dies and so Jaceres gets all mad and he gets on his dragon he goes back to the sea uh, to the boats trying to save his younger brother and and he gets killed and I think that's well they'll end season, uh, this season two. That's just my guess. Because there's still so much, so much more story going. Uh, but we'll see where, where this is going to go. There's only two episodes left. Uh, and it's getting good, finally. The last episode was amazing. This one was good. It progressed the story. Uh, and they added this bullshit lesbianism. But anyways... That's it with my House of Dragon. I'm liking this. I really am. I'm liking this, even though it's got lesbians in it. Uh, anyways, uh, they're, they're going to show some dicks next episode. They'll make up for it. They'll show plenty of dicks. Don't worry, fellas. They'll show it. Anyways, um, bef uh, well, actually, now nah, let's move into this. DC news. I'm getting really adamant about covering DC, especially after James Gunn, that pussy, gave me two strikes this week. But I'm going to go ahead and cover this because it's something that did happen. The Joker finally released an official trailer. Uh, not a teaser. And it's really fucking badass. Really disturbing too. I love Joaquin Phoenix. And I gotta tell you like. He is very disgustingly skinny. In this fucking movie. And if the Hollywood camera... Oh, Brendan Gleeson is in this. He's a fucking badass prison guard. Um, But if he's that skinny and the Hollywood cameras add 10 pounds, how skinny was he actually? Was he actually for this fucking movie? It's crazy. Uh, Gaga's gonna kill it. I was afraid that this was all a musical. But now that we see all this trailer, it's not. Thank God. The teaser, you couldn't tell. I was like, it's all the music. It's all the music. I don't know. It's not. They're going to have some kind of music in it, but it's not all a musical. Thank God. Uh, 
Oh my god. You know what's great about this movie? Is that this is not even like Joker Joker from the comic books. This is more like real life Joker if it was real. You know, it's like another universe and it's just showing you like if life, if this was real, like how would it be like? And it's so cool, man. I think that the best iteration of Joker we've ever seen because it's more realistic than anything we've ever seen. And Joaquin just knocks it out of the park with this, man. I don't see why this guy shouldn't get an Oscar for this fucking performance. Or Gaga. Gaga's gonna... I, You know, we've only seen a little bit, but Gaga's gonna knock this shit out of the park. There's a scene when they're walking down the steps and shit together. Walking down the steps. And, and, and you know, they're doing this kick in their feet. And Gaga's doing this, like, she's doing this. But when she's doing it, she's wearing a blue dress, and Gaga's pregnant. Harley Quinn is pregnant. But, I mean, all of this, a lot of the dancing stuff, especially like that, it's all in their in their head. I don't, it's not really happening. It's just a fantasy they're having. Um, so, you know, when they're dancing and she's pregnant, that's still just a fantasy they're having, and it's not real. I think a lot of this is going to play on... Um, some of this could be real and some of it isn't. Some of this is in their heads. Because you remember the first movie. The first movie. Uh, we thought that. You know he was being nice to that girl. And he was talking to her from the friend that she liked him. And then it turned out that it was all in his head. And he never even talked to her. And all this. You know what I'm saying. So they fucked with us there. And I got a feeling that this movie's going to do this. And I always had a theory. I had a theory, and I've been saying this since the very first teaser. My theory was, and that's how I would have done this movie. My theory was that everything you see, Harley Quinn and him and everything, Harley Quinn, I would say that the movie is more in, on her perspective and her being obsessed that she sees him on the TV. She breaks him out or she's obsessed and they're finally together and they're running around the city and they're killing people. And then at the end of the movie, when they're finally caught and they're arrested, you find out. That it's been Harley by herself. That she saw Joker arrested on TV. And Joker's been in jail this whole time. And she got this stupid fantasy. She went and broke him out. And they're villains. And they're running around killing people. Together. And it's never been him. It's been her by herself. And they throw her ass in jail at the end. And at the end when she's in jail in the asylum. Then she meets him. Oh my name's Harley. I'm Joker. And that's how the movie ends. That's how I would have done it. And that, that was my theory. That's probably not what this is. It's probably not. But I got a feeling that they are going to do a lot of that. Uh, some, of, some of this stuff is in their head. They're going to do some stuff like that. Some of this stuff is not real. And they're going to probably, towards the end of the movie, show us like, oh, this, this, maybe this didn't happen. Or this really happened, you know, this way. I think there's going to be some of that involved because there was some of that in the first movie, if you remember. Uh, so I think that's what. And then the folia dox, the title means the madness, uh, madness of two or insanity of two. So it is because if he was crazy enough that he was pretending in his head that he had some kind of relationship with this black girl, that girl was uh, what's her name, Domino from Deadpool. I wonder why she didn't come out in Deadpool and Wolverine. That's bullshit. Uh, anyways. Yeah, so... I'm excited for this. I can't wait. I am. Um, uh, this... Is probably the only movie... This year that I actually will pay to see in the theaters. Most likely. Most likely. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's move on, motherfuckers. And let's move on to some Star Wars ass. Because we got some leaked Im images. Hopefully we don't get banned for this shit. I mean, James Gunn already banned us for his bullshit. But everybody's been posting these images on Twitter and it's all over the internet. So there's no reason why anybody should be banning us for shit everyone else is showing. 
Anyways, here's Star Wars and fucking Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm's next hit show, The Skeleton Crew. <laughs> That's what nobody is thinking. Uh, this is going to be a failure. These are the stars of the show. Oh, and Jude Law. Jude Law is the only adult besides the robot. Jude Law is the only adult on this show. It's a TV show for Disney+. And it is being described as basically Goonies in space. Where a bunch of kids... See, there's a lot. Of, they put a bunch of little skulls there to remind you of Goonies. They put skulls on, on the fucking poster there. Fucking dumbass Kathleen Kennedy, the idiot. Uh, even put a little Asian little girl with a visor looking like Spock or whatever. Or that black dude from the fucking uh, Star Trek. The wrong universe. You, this is Star Wars, not Star Trek. You fucking dumbass. And of course, the, the nowadays, you got to have a little fro with a little half Mexican, half black kid. Because that way you can include both races at once. And a little elephant alien. For some strange reason. For fuck's sakes, to sell toys and dolls. This has been screened to a few people. And they are saying that it is trash. They are saying that, that it's testing poorly and that Kathleen Kennedy is shitting her fucking pants. And is freaking out because she already got in trouble for the last disaster of the Acolyte. And now they're about to... This is already done filmed. It's already done. Hundreds of millions of dollars now. Again, wasted. Thrown away. Thrown away! Something tells me this is basically a rip... Like the way they're describing it. This is basically a ripoff of Goonies. And it's probably going to follow... The same kind of fucking outline or template of the story. And people are, are going to get pissed. Of Goonies. They're going to get pissed. Oh, you, you're just doing the Goonies in space. Fuck you! Kathleen Kennedy. Why is this lady still being allowed to destroy and tarnish a brand that could possibly fucking make them billions of dollars? And instead is losing them... Hundreds of millions of dollars every time they shit one of these bullshit nine episode fucking asses out of their ass. Ah! Oh. God damn it. We're moving on. I don't even know what to say. I, I'm not. I, I hate Star Wars. I'm no longer a fan. What I have in the background, that's in the past. I like the past. I don't like none of this bullshit, is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Fuck you, Kathleen Kennedy. Fuck you, Lucasfilms. And fuck you, Mickey Mouse and Disney. You pieces of shit. <laughs> no, they don't know how to do anything original. They don't. They don't. They're fucking pussies. Anyways. The new rumor, because nothing official, it might be official tomorrow if we do it live. Comic Con, remember, we're gonna if we don't get banned tonight, tomorrow we're gonna do the comic-con shit live and uh, apparently they may announce that the Russo brothers have agreed to finally do Avengers 5 whatever it's gonna be Kang goes to jail for beating a white woman and Avengers Secret Wars which I honestly oh and supposedly they'll also be in charge of of not directing, but making sure that every movie that's going to lead into these movies actually lead into it. So they'll be in charge of everything else as far as, well, let me see your scripts. No, you're changing this because it has to make sense. Yeah. This whole time, this is my guess, this whole time, it wasn't Kevin Feige that was keeping the MCU together. It was these two nerds. They're the geniuses writing the stories and making everything cohesive and everything makes sense and, 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 and knit it tight together. These guys were the ones doing it. These two fucking nerds right here. Not Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige's over there masturbating and shit to whatever bullshit celebrities he's over there sucking off to and shit. That dumbass. 
He's another Kathleen Kennedy, another piece of shit getting sandwiches for people. Fucking asshole. Oh, oh, I'm tall and white. I'm tall and white. I must be important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Kevin Feige. This is a good move if this is what they do because they need some kind of structure and some kind of actual competent people running things again in Marvel. And if these two fucking guys get back in there, they're the ones that could maybe give us a few movies, maybe two two movies that might actually be good and might actually might want to pay to go see in the theaters. Uh, but I probably still won't. I'll download it and show it to you all the way I do. Uh, but yeah, they might announce this tomorrow. When we're over here doing this live, we'll see how long it lasts, an hour or two. But we'll be doing this live tomorrow night, 7, 8 p.m. I don't know. Whenever the fuck. Just look for the thing if we're not banned. If we're banned, we might not do it because we're still banned on the other channel too. Fuck, we're getting banned left and right, fellas. Fuck you. There's another rumor that might be real or might be fake. I don't know. It's still, still up in the air. Uh, but they're saying they might announce also tomorrow... That Spider-Man 4 will be directed by Sam Raimi. God damn it. You saw the bullshit he did with Doctor Strange and the ass of multiverse madness. It wasn't, it was fucking shitty as fuck. They're going to give us Spider-Man 4. Oh, you did the first three, Spider-Man. You can do the speeder part. This Spider-Man is up here on another level, old man. And you could never reach that with your Tobey Maguire. This is Tom Holland. You better fucking direct the shit out of this little boy the right way. You has been. God damn it. None of his horror movies were scary. And he better not try to do some bullshit fucking cameo with what's his name. And he probably is. That fucking guy, the evil dead motherfucker, Bruce Campbell, is going to be in this. It's going to be Dr. Octopus or some bullshit. Fuck you, Sam Raimi. You're ruining Spider-Man 4. You haven't even started on it. You dumbass. Uh... I'm dying here, fellas. I'm dying with these decisions. Oh my god. Luckily they're just rumors. So this these might still not happen. We're still on the sacred timeline. We're still on the correct timeline. Hopefully if no one fucks up, we don't have to transition into a shitty timeline. Where Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell are gonna be in Spider-Man 4. Fucking shit up. Probably gonna have some pervert like James Franco be the Green Goblin or some dick like that. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have little Franco. Dave Franco. Whatever the fuck his name is, that pussy. I just saw that guy in a pussy movie. What was that called? Uh, it was a good movie, too. Love Lies Bleeding. Oh, yeah. Super gay. and les There's little lesbians in it, but it was hot as fuck. I'm not gonna tell you, man, because that chick looked like a guy, and it was hot as fuck. It was badass. I'm not gonna say uh, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Anyways, I don't think this is going to be a good movie. Sam Raimi, you're a hack. And you shouldn't be allowed to make any more movies after that bullshit Doctor Strange. You son of a bitch. We're moving on. New rumor. New rumor. From one of the top leakers. Who's got like a 95% always right. On this channel. But none other than Big Titty, My Time to Shine, has come out and said that the current top picks solidified for sure to be the MCU X-Men. That Feige has said for sure these three are going to be in the team for the MCU. Not for the... I'll get to that in a minute. Not for something else, but when the MCU finally gets their very own X-Men. These are the X-Men that for sure we're going to have. Jubilee, Iceman, and Angel will be on the motherfucking X-Men team. Well, uh, I kind of saw this coming. 
I did. I mean, I thought they were going to do more wokeness because I thought, like, if they were going to do the perfect wokeness, then I thought it was going to be like the, the fucking original X-Men. Where they're going to have Storm, Colossus being over there Russian or whatever, uh, fucking Nightcrawler being a German, the Indian guy, what was his name, Tomahawk or whatever the Indian dude was, I forgot what his name was. Uh, then fucking, you know, like all from different nationalities. The Mexican. I thought that's what they were going to do and shit. But this is pretty much wokeness right here. We got the Asian Jubilee. The gay Iceman. Because you read the comic books, this fucking guy turned gay all of a sudden a few years ago. They just started making gay characters. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he gay all of a sudden? But he's gay. He likes cold dicks. He likes cold dildos. That's what he likes. Uh, that makes sense now. Those are not spikes sticking out of his head. Those are fucking small dicks he plays with. Um... An angel, you know, non-binary. This guy probably doesn't even have a dick. He has a pussy because he's like a bird. Like birds, they don't have dicks. And uh, birds, they have a hole that this thing comes out of. And, and, and they shit and they piss through the same hole. And uh, and I think that's what Kevin Feige's going to do with Angel. So this is pretty woke already. It's uh, It's perfect. Storm is going to be black, of course. Wolverine, they're, they're, of course, Wolverine will be Wolverine. You cannot change Wolverine. But I got a feeling they will because of the comic books. I'll get to it later. Um, as long, and I'll, I'm going to be very, 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 uh, uh, put my foot down when I say this. And I mean this. As long as Cyclops Jean Grey and Professor Xavier are in the team and are white. I won't have a problem with anything else they do with the team. They can do anything else to all these other characters. Make them fucking lesbians, gays, non-binaries, and transsexuals. I don't give a fuck. But you leave Scott Summers, Jean Grey, and Professor X to be white. And straight. I'll be fine with it. Just, just I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> ah, we'll see what the rest of the team. I mean, I think the rest of the team is obviously gonna be obviously Jean Grey, Scott Summers, Professor X, Beast has to be in it. How do you have an X Men team without Beast? I think Beast will be in it, and obviously a Wolverine. I'll get to that later. We are talking about Wolverine. And we do know, some of you, if you've heard uh, some of the spoilers already, you know in the Deadpool trade, the movie, there is a Hulk versus Wolverine scene that I'll show you. And, um, and they're saying that people have gotten so excited over this fucking two seconds. Two and a half seconds. I knew it was going to be like that. I knew it was going to be two, four seconds of bullshit. We didn't get to see none of the, none of the fight. Uh, I'll show it to you what happens in a little bit. But people are making such a big deal out of this two second bullshit Easter egg that Marvel is currently developing. Meaning they're looking for writers. They're thinking of a story and they are going to do a Wolverine versus Hulk. Years down the road, don't get too excited. Probably years down the road. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, well, well, well. We'll see how that shit ends up, man, because I'll probably be dead long before any of this bullshit happens. I'll just tell you like that. And I'm glad because in 20 years, that's going to be a Wolverine, transsexual Mexican woman, and a fucking lesbian Hulk. That's the movie we're getting. Anyways, I'm moving on to the big shebang. The shit most of you are actually here for. The spoilers. We're going to spoil, or I'm going to spoil, the whole Deadpool Wolverine movie for you all. That's how the movie ends right there. That shot, right? That's the money shot right there. And it's a beautiful shot. I'm not going to lie. It's a little stretched out on my screen, but you know how it is. Um, yeah, 
So get ready. If you haven't seen the movie, I don't know why you're here. I'm about to spoil it and show you shit. And again, ah, if we get shut down, that's it. The channel's dead. If it suddenly cuts off, I got a strike and the channel's dead. I hope you subscribe to the backup channels. I'll probably be there next week. Or I might post another video there right away. <laughs> Saying this sucks. Ranting. I don't know. But anyways, let's get this on. Let's get this. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. Let's get this show on the road. Here we go. <sighs> oh, sorry. The beginning of the movie starts off. Actually, it starts off with Deadpool digging up Logan's body. Because he doesn't think he's dead. Thinks he's just going to regenerate. And he's digging up his body and he finds his bones. And he's sitting there talking to his bones and he's all sad. You actually died, you motherfucker. Then the TVA shows up. And uh, Deadpool starts fighting the TVA with, just like we said in the spoilers, with, dead, with fucking Wolverine's bones. Because they're adamantium. And he starts killing all of them. And at one point he even puts on, like, his hands. Like that. And so he has fucking claws like Wolverine. And he's using them. And he starts stabbing people. And in a funny part, bro, it's hilarious. He stabs a guy like that in the ass. And then he stabs another guy in the fucking dick. And then the claws are stuck. And so there's a guy, the guy with the, has the, 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 the <laughs> that has the claws on his ass is all like, take them out. And the other guy has the claws on his dick and he's like, yeah, take them out. And so they're both pulling and he's going like this. And then <laughs> there's another TVA agent and he's all like, you make me sick. He <laughs> tells Deadpool. And Deadpool's like, this is the first time I've ever Wolverined. I don't know how to do this. It's fucking stupid, bro. And the whole time he's fighting the TVA, he's dancing to NSYNC's Bye Bye Bye. <laughs> he even does the, the dance there for a while. He does it perfect and shit. Oh my god. It's fucking nuts. Um, then... He tells you, because he's actually telling a story about this. He stops and he says, well, let me rewind time and tell you how I, we, I got to this point. And so he rewinds time and he gets back to the beginning in 2018. And I don't have anything to show you for this, but he goes back to 2018 and he's there with Happy Hogan. And he's interviewing for a job. And he's trying to interview to be an Avenger, and uh, he's being stupid, and ha Happy Hogan's all like, what the fuck is wrong with you, and shit like that. And um, and he's also making fucking jokes, at, uh, like, is the man gonna come in? Because uh, he doesn't want to talk to Happy, he's like, why am I your interview? Aren't you the chauffeur? And Happy's all like, no, I'm no longer the chauffeur. <laughs> and shit, like, that's fucking stupid. He's just making fun of him. And But Happy tells him no, and he walks him out. And he tells him, like, look, you're just you're just trying too hard and you're aiming too high and you need to aim down here and you'll succeed. And he shows him out and he leaves and then he becomes a car salesman. He's depressed and whatever the fuck. Um, and he's walking home with his friend, uh, Peter. And, and it's a surprise party that they have for him. Something weird happens and I wish I had video. I'm, I'm kind of pissed that I didn't get video of this. But when they're walking home, Deadpool notices these two guys, city workers, taking pictures of him. Now, I noticed that and I thought that was going to go somewhere. They never bring it up. And I, I at first, I guess that they wanted you to assume that's the TVA looking at him. But I don't think, I think that's something else. And I might come back to that later to tell you the theory about that. But that's just something weird that's in the movie when you see it. And another thing, I encourage all of you to go see this fucking movie. Because I'm, I'm going to show you some stuff. But there's a lot of stuff I'm not going to show you. And there's a lot of stuff that I'm also not going to say. You know, because there's too many jokes. There's too many jokes and too many gags. 
and it's hilarious. There's, it's hilarious, and, I, and 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 it should be seen. So you know, it is spoilers, and I'm telling you the whole movie. But I can tell you that you can go see the movie, and you'll be, there'll be still a lot of stuff for you to, that I'm not going to tell you or 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 you know spoil for you. So don't worry about that. Um, but we are seeing this in the trailer. They're throwing him a party. There's a lot of stupid jokes that happen there when they're in the party and and, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, a lot of gags and little things that happen in between them and shit. Um, there's one that, there's one gag that I want to go, I, 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 I want to go back and see it and I have it right here, but I want to go back and see it and pay more attention to it. But he says something like, yes, I'm for abortion, the wall, I'm for this, that, like he, all the worst things in American Deadpool's telling the guy, those are my views. You like them or you don't like them. And he walks away. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's some crazy stuff that he says. He, he talks really fast. So sometimes I, I, it's one of those movies that you, you're going to have to wait to your home. You have it in digital to rewind it and really pay attention to what Ryan Reynolds says. Because sometimes he's talking really fast and the jokes are like that. Um, But yes, the TVA shows up, you know, and they take him away. And uh, when he gets to the TVA, this is where it starts pissing me off. So, I was right about what they tell him. This paradox guy tells him, Hey, the TVA thinks, for whatever reason, that you're special. He goes, I think you're special, but in a different way. Like, you know, R-tard. And he goes, but they think you're special and you're supposed to serve some kind of higher purpose. And shit. There's going to be some kind of battle in the future, and you're really important to it. He tells him that. And he goes, so, uh, I'm, I'm, they told me to bring you in and give you a choice. And he tells him, your universe is dying it's because Logan died. And, uh, and it's going to die because he's the anchor to your universe. There's anchor beings, and if that anchor being dies, the universe starts to die slowly. And the universe is probably going to die in a thousand years or so, but it's slowly decaying. And you and your friends are all going to die. But the TVA wants to give you an opportunity because you're special, and they want you to go to the main timeline, to the, to the MCU, to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and go there and live there and serve your purpose because you're supposed to serve a higher purpose in the future. And so uh, Deadpool's all like, but my universe is going to die. And he goes, yeah, in a thousand, two thousand years or whatever. Then this guy says, um, but I'm making a machine. And this is why I don't understand this. This guy suddenly, for no reason at all, tells Deadpool this. This is, he's actually the bad guy. So if he's the bad guy, in typical fashion, he's telling him his plan. Right away in the beginning of the movie, tells him his plan. But does it in a way that's not even evil. It's weird. But he tells him. The TVA no longer, they used to just prune timelines, like in the first season of Loki, that they used to drop a bomb and it would prune the whole universe and it wouldn't exist anymore because they didn't want these branches. But in, since Loki ended that, Loki's keeping everything together and all the branches get to exist. So now there's is a multiverse. He goes, and since some, when the anchor bean dies, that timeline's going to die or that universe is going to die. And it'll take forever for it to die. He goes, I've been tasked to just watch your universe die. And it's going to take 2,000 years. And he goes, I'm not going to spend 2,000 years watching the fucking TVs until you're fucking all dead. I'm making a machine that's going to destroy it right away. The machine's going to be built in a few, like, next tomorrow, in a few hours or whatever. And when I turn it on, it's going to destroy your universe. So get your ass in the MCU... And that's it. We'll move on. I don't understand why he told Deadpool all of that. Logically, there was no need for him to tell Deadpool any of that. Because he had already told Deadpool, you're going to be a hero in the MCU. And Deadpool had already said, I'm fucking go. Yes, let's do it. He was excited. He already had his new suit on. He was ready to go. It doesn't make sense for him to reveal to Deadpool that he's the bad guy. To make Deadpool turn on him. But anyways, that's 
the fucking stupidity of the writing. That what pisses me off. I'm telling you, I, I like this movie, but there there is going to be a lot of st stuff I ain't going to complain about. Mostly the story, because it has a lot of loopholes and doesn't make any sense. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways. So, yeah, he tells him the plan. And Deadpool says, you know, he says, yeah, uh, well, I'm going to punch you in the face and break your, 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 your nose and steal your little device and fix my universe. And that's what he does. And he, and then from there, he starts traveling the multiverse. And here are all the Wolverine variants for you motherfuckers to see. Uh, because he starts traveling the multiverse. That's how, that's, you know, that's where we end up that he went back to the, the corpse. We go back to where he, he's fighting the TVA and the corpse in the beginning and shit. Uh, and he finishes killing all the TVA, finally. You know? And then he's like, okay. Now I'm gonna have to go look for a, a, a Logan to replace mine. Since this one's dead. And so then he goes into the multiverse and shit. And the first Logan he runs into is, like I said, a fucking... CGI Q Jackman that's five foot four. He's like a midge. And Deadpool makes fun of him. Oh, you aren't you so cute, you little thing, and blah blah blah. And of course Deadpool doesn't pick him, and so he leaves that universe. And shit. And so then the next dead the Wolverine, and this is what pisses me off because every fucking nerd on YouTube is saying a 90s Wolverine. 90s Wolverine and that's what I was saying because I hadn't seen it so I didn't know what they were talking about you fucking idiots I can tell you pussies don't read comic books that's the age of apocalypse you Wolverine he didn't even have a hand one of his hands is missing and you see I mean it's covering right now with the pictures that I have because I don't want to get blocked or, or, or shit but he's missing a fucking hand um, so he goes to the age of apocalypse and Wolverine is, and there's fucking destruction in the background. There's fires and Wolverine's just standing on the wall and he's missing one of his hands and shit. He doesn't have a hand because if you knew the comic books, he only has one hand and Deadpool sees him. And he goes, wow, you look, you have anchor be anchor being written all over you. And this guy gets mad and starts killing Deadpool ah, and starts fucking attacking him and shit. And of course, Deadpool leaves. <laughs> and shit and all this is a montage all of these are just a few seconds bro and then he goes to patch and patch right away just stabs deadpool in the face <laughs> fucking crazy and he leaves he just stabs him in the face and he leaves and then the next fucking uh wolverine that he goes to um it's this guy who looks like well, he's a Wolverine, but he's fixing a bike, and you see him from behind. And he goes, wow, this guy's the total package because he has big muscles. And then when he turns around, it's fucking Henry Cavill, bro. It's fucking Superman. And Deadpool freaks out, and he's all like, oh, the cavalry, the legends are true. And he says, sir, I'm a huge fan Thank you for coming to our side. I promise we're going to treat you a, a lot better than those dickheads across the street. And he's talking about Warner Brothers. And he goes, uh, fucking Henry Cavill goes, yeah, whatever. You were just leaving. And he fucking punches him and he punches him through a fucking, through a portal. Um, he goes to another one and it's old man Logan, just like in the comic books. Fucking looks just like him, but it is uh, fucking Hugh Jackman. And old man Logan just pulls out a shotgun and blows him away. Boom. And shit. And then he goes to another universe and he sees the Wolverine that's crucified. It's fucked up, bro. Because that wasn't even in the story. That was just a cover that someone drew. But for whatever reason, they did the cover to be like a universe. It's fucked up. And he's just like, uh and, and Deadpool's all like, no, not you. And he leaves and shit. And then he finally gets to the one where the Wolverine is wearing the yellow and brown suit. It's Hugh Jackman. And he's all like, hell, oh, that suit is classic or whatever. And he goes, weren't you fighting the Hulk during this? And then the Hulk, and you don't know which Hulk it is. At least in the version I have, you can't see. You can't tell. You just see him over Deadpool behind him. Um, it looks like Ruffalo's Hulk, but it could be any Hulk. Uh, and Deadpool just turns around and goes, uh-oh. 
and he says something he says it too fast man i'm gonna have to when it's on digital i'll have to put the captions to see what he says but i think he says something like the way loki says um you know you you, you when loki told the hulk before the hulk grabbed him i'm a god you big dumb a or i don't know i don't know what the fuck he's i think he told him i'm a I don't know what he tells him, bro. He says it so fast, but the Hulk just slaps the shit out of him. Uh, he just slaps the shit out of him and, and knocks him the fuck out. And then finally, he gets to the universe where we see the Logan from the movie that we from the trailers, the drunk one. I'll play this one more time so you can see all this montage. Um, and this is really I, I cut it I cut it really short because I like I said I don't want to get banned. Um, but this is probably the one of the best fucking montages in the and what are they playing i think they're playing um i think it's a back to the future uh song i think i don't even remember there's a lot of classic songs they're playing in these i think it's a back to the future song that he's that they're playing while 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 he's doing this um and it's funny, bro. And he's just getting beat by every Wolverine. And it's just funny because it makes a lot of sense because he even tells when he meets the, the new drunk Wolverine because he, he's just leave me alone and go away. And he's like, man, every other Wolverine would have tried to kill me by now. But that Wolverine, the one we've seen in the trailers, he fucking passes out. And Deadpool is about to pick him up and he sees that underneath he has the yellow suit and he goes, Wow! It only took 20 years. He looks at the camera and he goes, it only took 20 fucking years for them to do this. And he takes them back to the TVA. And as soon as he gets there, the TVA is all like, what the fuck? You're back. And Deadpool's all like, yeah, here, I brought this asshole. Uh, problem solved. And the guy from the TVA is all like, what the fuck are you talking about? And just like I told you, Deadpool's an idiot and says, well, you, you said that my universe is dying because Logan died. Well, I just brought another Logan to replace him. And the TVA guy goes crazy, Mr. Paradox. He says, you're a fucking idiot. He goes, I would have still said no to any Wolverine. He goes, because he goes, that's not the way it works, you moron. Like, you fucking dumbass. He tells, and he's super pissed. And he says, that's not the way it fucking works. You can't just replace an anchor bean. And he goes, and I would have told you no to any Wolverine. But for some strange reason, you're a, such an idiot that you brought me the worst Wolverine in the multiverse. And and um, and I'll tell you the story because they tell it to you in parts. And by the end of the movie, you know what happens. But I'm going to spoil it for you from the beginning. This Logan, what ended up happening is that he was part of the X-Men, but he was the loner. And was always like, I don't want them to know that I, I like being around them because he's a loner. And so whenever they were having get-togethers and shit, he would not go and stuff like that. And they all would wear the yellow suits, and he didn't like wearing it because he was an asshole. And, uh, and, they, and one day, he went to the bar to get drunk instead of hanging out with them. He told them, nah, come on, Logan, come be with us. Nah, fuck you. And he went to the bar to get drunk. When he went to the bar to get drunk... A bunch of humans with, you know, crazy fucking leftists, fucking Joe Biden supporters, and Palestinian supporters. They went over there to the X mansion and they they fucking attacked the X Men. All the and they killed them. They killed all the, all of them. It's Charles and and Gene and Cyclops and everyone. Beast and Storm. They killed all of them. And Wolverine, when he came back drunk and he was drunk as fuck from the bar, and they don't show any of this. He just says it. Eventually, he says it. They don't know flashbacks, so you don't see no cameos of the X-Men. They're just mentioned. No cameos. Disappointment. He just mentions them. Um, he says he went back to the X-Mansion, and they were all dead. And he went into Berserker Rage. And he went out, and he killed all the people, all the humans that killed them. But then he killed their families and their children. And he went on a rampage, just killing everyone when the cops came. and He just kept killing people, and he wouldn't stop. Because he was so angry and drunk and in a rage. And that caused the whole world to turn on mutants and to turn on the X-Men. And so no one likes him. He's like the worst person on Earth, basically. 
once he snapped out of his berserker rage or whatever. Since he can't die, nobody can do nothing to him. They just leave him alone. He's like a wanderer. That's why he's at the bar and they're like, get out of here. No one likes you. And he goes, just give me one drink and I'll leave. Everybody knows who he is because nobody likes him. Uh, so he's famous for that. That's his story. And uh, so the TVA agent gets mad because Deadpool's an idiot and he's fucking up and he zaps him into the void. And Logan's all like, where the fuck did you send him? And he goes to the trash bin. You're going to fit right in. And Logan's all like, ah, and then he zaps him. And just like I said, and the fucking spoilers, when they're back in the void, they start fighting because Logan's pissed. Now I'm stuck here, you son of a bitch. Uh, this is their first fight. It's badass. What the trailer has shown some of it, some of it. Ah, oh, this is so. There's a part where Wolverine gets his claws, and like a fucking animal, is crawling on the ground with the claws. Also, ah, running full speed on the ground with the fucking claws, like on all fours. It's fucking badass, bro. There's so many cool stuff in it, man. Um, and then of course we've seen in the trailer that the bad guys show up. And uh, when the bad guys show up, uh, let me make sure I'm in the right thing here. Okay. When the bad guys show up, they kind of stop fighting. But then this mysterious figure is on this tower and he's wearing a cloak and he fucking tells them, if we keep fighting ourselves, we're going to we're going to lose. And you see the cars coming and they stop fighting. And then Deadpool's all like, oh, my God. And he's wearing a blue fucking hood, white bandages, and like he's got like red gloves. Right? And so then the fucking guy jumps down. And when he jumps down, he takes his hood off, bro. And it's fucking Chris Evans. And Deadpool gets super excited. And uh, the bad guys show up, and, and fucking this guy's all like, uh, Chris Evans is all like, don't worry, I got this. And Deadpool goes and says, I'm with you, my cap, my captain. And he hugs him, you know, like all sexual. And then and, and fucking Chris Evans is all like, get the fuck off me, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then he gets ready to fight the Sabretooth because the Sabretooth arrives, Toad and um, Pyro. And a bunch of other no names, guys with masks and hoods and shit, no names, extras. They show up in all these weird cars. And uh, and it looks like he's about to say like uh, something badass, and Deadpool's all excited. Oh my god, he's gonna say it! He's gonna say it! And Deadpool wants to say it with him, and he goes, "Event!" Like he, Deadpool goes, "Avengers assemble!" But instead, he goes, "Flame on!" And he fucking turns on fire, dude, and he flies up in the air. It's the Human Torch, just like I said it was gonna be. But then he starts fighting them. I had never had thought about this. And I got to say, the guys who wrote this, whoever wrote this part especially, is a comic book nerd. Because this this is 100% tr true within the con the contents of, of what's happening in their world. Pyro controls fire and pretty much takes away the flame <laughs> out of the human torch. Just takes it away from him. And he's flying. And then Chris Evans falls from the sky and lands and, and hits his dick on this tower that he lands on. And then falls and oh my god, it looks so horrible. He falls and breaks his neck and his back and he falls <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> and then Wolverine looks at them and he goes, we don't know that guy. <laughs> it's so badass. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. But uh, he fights Sabretooth next because Sabretooth's all like, oh, I know you. And they fight. And I thought that dialogue wasn't in the same in the trailer, but it is. Deadpool says the same thing. He takes the knives out of Logan and then they run at each other, Sabretooth and Logan. And they both jump like that. And that's it. All of a sudden, they're both on, on each end, and Sabretooth's heads fall off. And uh, and Deadpool carries it up and says some jokes. I'm not gonna. I don't want to say too much because some of these jokes. I want you all to go see this. It's it's a good watch. 
it's worth your, it's actually worth your money it's funny he says some jokes about Sabretooth's head and whatever the fuck uh, uh, the way they get captured is that Toad turns on the satellite which actually is some kind of magnet and the magnet pulls Deadpool because Deadpool's katanas that they gave him at the TVA are adamantium and so it pulls Deadpool and Wolverine to the magnet and then a big piece of metal Boom, squishes them in between, and they get knocked out. Uh, so when they fucking wake up, when they wake up, they're on their way, uh, they're captured, and they're on their way, and also uh, Chris Evans, the Human Torch, is with them. And they're captured, they're all tied up, and they're going on their way to Cassandra Nova. And Chris Evans tells them, like, we're fucked, like, Cassandra Nova is gonna kill us, or whatever the hell. And uh, when they get there, they talk to her, and we saw in the trailer she comes out, and when they get there, there's a lot of variants there. A lot of variants that, that look almost like the people, but they're not. And I'm talking about, like, the Russian from fucking uh, The Punisher, and it, but it's not Kevin Nash. It's some other guy. Juggernaut, it's not that guy, Vinny Vin, or whatever his name is. It, that British guy, it's not him. It's some other guy. And Deadpool makes a joke, and he says, Oh, you must be the Juggernaut for this week. And the guy's all like, you better shut the fuck up because she doesn't like motherfuckers that talk a lot. And then um, there's a Calypso is in there, but it's some other late chick. It's some other black girl. Lady Deathstrike, but it's some other chick. It's not even the Asian girl. She looks Mexican. Who else? Psylocke is there. That doesn't even look nothing like Olivia Munn or whatever that chick's name is. Um, so there's, there's variants of the same fucking people that were there. I wonder if even the Toad guy was the same actor. It might have not been because they look all CGI too. Pyro for sure was him. Pyro for sure. But anyways, uh, so let me see where I'm at here. Uh, oh yeah, Cassandra Nova. All right, so they get to Cassandra Nova. And uh, she lets them go because she's never seen. She goes, oh, I've never had a Wolverine in here before. And she unties them, and she goes, this could be interesting. And she unties them. And Wolverine tells De Deadpool, shut the fuck, don't say anything. And, of course, Deadpool can't shut the fuck up, and he starts talking to her. <laughs> and th there's already a lot of, well, I don't want to jump ahead, but anyway, he's just talking to her. But she's, like, okay about whatever about Deadpool. But she sees Johnny, John Johnny Storm, and she goes, oh, I've been chasing after this little firefly. Uh, I've been chasing after this little firefly for a while. And then Deadpool's all like, oh, Johnny told us a lot about you, Cassandra. And he's like, oh, did he? And she says, yeah, he said. And oh, man, I did I write this down? No, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't write it down. I don't think I write, wrote it down because uh, it's, oh, my God, it's gibberish. It's Ryan Reynolds probably fucking, uh, well, what's it called? Improvising on the spot. He starts saying, oh, he said this, and you're like this crazy, sonical bitch, and who wouldn't touch two dicks with this, and blah, 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 blah. He goes on for a long time saying all this nonsense. And then Chris Evans is all like, what? I just, I wouldn't, I, I don't even know what half of that shit is. And then Wolverine starts getting pissed. And Wolverine tells, tells Deadpool, shut the fuck up. You're going to get him killed. And Deadpool's all like, what? I'm just having conversation. And he goes, yeah, people think I'm a shit talker. Man, the things this guy said, and he keeps going saying more things, nasty stuff. And Chris Evans is begging. I, he's lying. I never say anything. And, and Wolverine's all like, shut the fuck up, Wade. And then Cassandra Nova gets pissed and flicks her fingers and she pulls Chris Evans' skin right off. I keep saying Chris Evans, but it's the, uh, Johnny Storm. She pulls his skin right off, bro. And then all of his guts and bones just fall to the floor. And Wolverine gets pissed and looks at Deadpool. You fucking dumbass. You got him killed. <laughs> and Deadpool's all like, oh my god. <laughs> You're like a fucking idiot. Um, they try to fight her, but she's really strong. I mean, Wolverine even stabs her. Uh, but she survives that. Uh, because she, she could survive anything, I guess. She's all, she's like God. Uh, I guess if you were Charles Xavier, you could be like God. Unless the Scarlet Witch shows up and then she snaps your neck in a cloud and you die. 
but this chick is like God, so they can't kill her. And uh, but what happens is the smog monster starts showing up, and she's all like, "Ah, I'm just gonna let it eat you," and she leaves. And everybody runs away, and so Deadpool and Wolverine, they see the smog monster and Wolverine. There's like a leg, I don't know why, just conveniently, there's like a leg with a with a rocket attached to it, and Wolverine turns it on and grabs it, and they take off. That's how they escape the smog monster the first time. Um, I can't ex express how funny this fucking movie is, bro. Like, this is Ryan Reynolds at his best. The fucking shit, like, Deadpool is just annoyingly never shuts the fuck up <laughs> and it's just like at, at, at times where you should be like you you need to shut up bro there's some serious stuff going down and then he just makes it worse by opening his mouth like this poor johnny storm just got killed oh my god um so yeah they escape and they land somewhere in the void and they run into the dog deadpool and samurai deadpool the dog deadpool actually belongs to samurai deadpool and it's not even Samurai Deadpool. He's called Nice Pool. And he's really nice. <laughs> he's really fucking nice. Uh, it's really weird. Uh, it's a kind of annoyingly weird. Annoyingly nice, too. He's just being fucking really annoyingly nice. Uh, but he's so nice that he tells them where the Resistance is hiding. Because Johnny told them the Resistance and whatever the fuck. So he tells them they're hiding over there. And I can I can even lend you my, my car. <laughs> It's got gas and everything, and they're all like, oh, that would be great. <laughs> and so that's when they go on their little van, and they get in the Honda, a uh, Honda, uh, oh, yeah, um, the uh, nice Deadpool does warn them. The dead, there's a lot of Deadpools in the void, and they form the Deadpool Corp. They're all crazy. Uh, stay away from them. <laughs> that's basically what he tells them. Okay. And the, the, the van is a Honda Odyssey. And since Wade is a fucking car salesman, I think he sells different cars than Honda Odyssey. So he, he hates it and he doesn't want to get in it. But Logan's like, get in the fucking truck. So they go in the car. We've seen some of this in the trailers. That's the only Spider-Man reference when he goes, choo, choo, choo. that's it. Just that. He doesn't even say Spider-Man. He just does that. You already saw it in the trailer. This is leads into their second fight. And it's so crazy because Wade starts being annoying. And it gets to the point where you start getting familiar with it's like when, when you're a kid or, you know, you, you've been in this situation where someone knows they're getting under your skin and they keep going. And this, then they won't stop. And that's what happens here. And Logan finally gets so fucking angry that he hurls the most horrible insult at Deadpool that I mean I'll give you a little bit of, it's super long the insult I'll give you a little bit of it he just tells him like you're such a moron that you couldn't even uh, you couldn't even uh, 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 stay in a relationship with a stripper you know <laughs> you, even that fell apart for you and he tells him but I've been alive for 200 years and I never met a, a bigger idiot he says those the worst fucking things a very long insult. And when he finally finishes, Deadpool's quiet. And 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 when he and the insult is with anger too. Hugh Jackman is the best thing. His acting's so good there. The insult, he does it with anger and he starts growling. And by, by the time he's done with the fucking, you know, with the with the insult, and Deadpool's quiet, not saying anything, he goes, You got anything to say? Mouth. <laughs> And Deadpool super, like, almost hurt. His voice is almost, like, hurt. He goes, I'm gonna fight you now. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you now. And Logan starts laughing, like, ha ha ha. And Deadpool punches him right in the nose and breaks his nose. And then it break. All hell breaks loose, bro. They start fighting. It's a badass fight. It's even better than the first fight they have. And it's more fucking gruesome. Fucking Wolverine's murdering him. <laughs> They're murdering each other. It's, it's insane. This guy's stabbing him too. He uh, mid. I think the song that's playing during this fight is uh, "Grease." Uh, You're the one that I love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's the song they're playing when they're fighting. Uh, Hugh Jackman's a huge Olivia. Olivia. Uh, what was her name? Olivia Newton. John, 
he's a he that was his crush uh growing up he said he got to meet her before she died but anyways he wolverine ends up outside of the van at one point and deadpool's inside of the van and deadpool says the most funniest thing and he goes you know what i was wrong <laughs> the honda odyssey does uh does fuck hard he goes does fuck hard he goes unlike you N needle dick and wolverine gets more pissed and he jumps in there <laughs> and, and they just keep fighting and it fades out with them fighting and uh and then when it fades back in they're both regenerating all fucked up probably dead still and they're just both lying there and you just see someone get in the van like somebody and then they drive off with them in it and then that's when you see the next cameos and here we go they're gonna be good for you all boom the resistance exactly like we said in the spoilers fucking El jennifer gardner comes back as electra they walk they wake up in their base and she's there and then all of nowhere wesley fucking snipes with a gray beard and gray sideburns also hey he look good as blade he comes out and shit and then Chatton tatum as comic accurate gambit oh yeah and of course x23 lauda comes back this little hottie she's all grown up now this little girl she's still not old enough fellas so don't get any ideas all right she's not old enough anyways uh kind of a little bit of some spoilers about what happens on this um there's a joke in there uh cheer peace out anthony timmons uh there's a fucking joke in there where deadpool says uh, uh oh yeah they do talk about the same uh fate that punisher quicksilver and daredevil went to go fight cassandra nova and they didn't survive uh they make a ben affleck joke but it, but jennifer gardner is all like eh, it's okay like she goes like that to dead boy it's okay i don't care it's fucking hilarious uh wesley snipes uh tells deadpool i don't like you and deadpool's all like you never did they're, like they're making fun of them like when they used to fucking be in that other in the other movie for blade and then there's a funny thing about gambit um at first I didn't think, because man, it's so jarring when you first hear him speak. He does do the accent. But here's the thing, man. At first, I didn't know if I liked it. And then within, the, within a few sentences, it grew on me. And then within a, a few fucking more sentences, I loved it. He sounds exactly like the gambit from the original x-men 1994 not this new in 97 shit they got the old people to come back they old they sound old they don't sound the same he sounds like the original gambit mon ami his voice sounds just like it he does the dialect and they do this funny thing where sometimes he talks really fast or maybe he's talking in cajun or something and deadpool's all like does anyone know what the fuck he's saying <laughs> and he goes I think what Gambit is trying to say, I, th I hope, I, I, you know, <laughs> like it's just there's an ongoing joke that you don't understand what he's saying. But then Gambit also is conscious of the fact that that his movie never came out. It's so weird because they ask him like where they all came from. They all start saying, oh, well, this happened in my universe and that's how I end up here. And Gambit goes, Gambit doesn't remember. He might have been born here. Who knows? He goes some shit like that. And then he ends, there's another part where they're talking about, oh, I finally get a chance to avenge. And Gambit goes, or or, or, or he goes, he goes, I forget. There's a joke where he kind of makes fun of the fact that the movie never came out. But Gambit is conscious of it, or at least is wondering, like, where did I come from if there never was a movie of it, never got made? It's so weird. Um, But that's the resistance. And they pretty much all make a plan to go fucking go back there and fight Cassandra so they can get out or whatever. Wolverine's being a drunk and he says, we're all going to die. Then they have that speech where the little girl talks to him. He tells her everything, blah, blah, blah. He ends up joining them and they all ride back to fucking uh, fight the bad guys. Uh, 
Did I? Do I have that? No, I don't. Uh, I don't have that because... Heck, I'm trying to... Where am I? I'm very sorry about that. Here I am. Uh, okay, this is still the resistance. Okay. I don't have that because I don't want to spoil that for you. That's what it was. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but the resistance goes back. And I'm going to say, it's not long, the fight. It's not long, but what basically ends up happening is... Uh, the fight is is uh, x23 it's electra it's it's uh let me go back to this scene because i'm getting ahead it's electra and blade and gambit and they fight all the bad guys while deadpool and wolverine go to cassandra to fight her um it's badass and i gotta say the best thing in the world is seeing gambit fight finally uh, he uses his pole he uses his card trick I thought I fucking... No, I didn't because I didn't want to get banned. So I, I didn't want to put all of that. Um, it's so fucking badass. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you. It's great. They the, All the fighting stuff that happens with them is great. Um, but they don't show much. It's like a, a five minutes maybe of choreographed of them fighting at the most. Uh, just little Easter eggs for you to get all your pussy wet over. But eventually the plan was that the Juggernaut... And Laura kills him in the best way. Uh, she slices his his legs off, and he falls. And then I, they don't show it, but it's assumed she cuts his head off. And they grab the helmet because the way to stop Cassandra is to put the helmet on her so she can't use her powers. And that's what they do. But when they put the helmet on her and she doesn't use her powers, um, Pyro comes out and shoots her. And so she's dying. Wolverine gets mad and punches Pyro out right away. It turns out Pyro is a spy and working for the TVA guy. This is why the, the, the story makes no sense. The actual story makes no sense. Pyro is a spy working for the TVA guy. I don't know why. And apparently the TVA had made a deal with Cassandra to her to stay there in the void. I guess it doesn't make any sense. It, it, yeah. It's just that this is where the movie falls apart. The movie's great. Wait, all, everything else I was telling you, it's fun. It's badass. Cameos, fucking multiverse. Finally, multiverse. Not like fucking Doctor Strange bullshit. This is actual multiverse. Um, but then you're 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 they're getting they're feeding you the story, and then it's like what? They can, why? That doesn't make no sense. Whatever. So she's dying. And she said, the Wolverines take the helmet off, and that's the only way she can live. And, oh, but she, if, I, if you take the helmet off, she's going to fucking kill us. And Wolverine says, oh, Charles, your brother would have not let you die, and I'm not going to let you die. And so when they save her, she doesn't kill them. And they convince her to send us back to Deadpool's universe. And so she does. She opens the ring. Because she says, oh, I killed a sorcerer. They don't even show nothing. No Doctor Strange. She just has the ring. I, and I have the ring. And she opened up the portal. So, she could have left a long time ago with everyone with her. But instead, she just chose to stay there in the fucking desert. It doesn't make no fucking sense, right? It makes... Am I, am I fucking stupid? No. Am I... I don't know why. I, I fucking notice these things and these... Oh, it's a badass movie. Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But pay attention to the story. It doesn't make no sense. Anyway, she opens the portal, and they jump out. And the Resistance, they watch them from afar jump out. Like, and they smile. Fuck you, take us with you. I would have been yelling. That didn't make no sense either. So they go through, and they go back to Deadpool's universe. Well, then, they're trying to get to the TVA guy, because he's going to turn on the machine. And when they get there, that's when this happens. Getting ahead of myself. The TVI guy, they, they try to stop the guy, but then Cassandra Nova gets there before him. And Cassandra Nova starts reading. She has this weird power that she literally sticks, and she has she does have long fingers. Fucking weird. And she sticks her fingers in your in your head, and they go through you, like, all like, oh, and you see the finger coming out of the eye and out of the nose, her fingers. They go all through your head, like, she's fucking, when her fingers are in there, she knows she's reading everything about you, and she knows you, and shit. And that's what she does. And uh, when she does that, she she reads about the machine. 
And and Deadpool and Wolverine says, oh, it's okay, babe. We're going to go destroy the machine. You can go back to your universe. And she says, no, I want the machine. I'm going to use it to destroy every universe until all that's left is the void. The desert shit. And I can rule over everyone as God. And then that's when she pushes them like that we've seen in the trailer that they fly through the store and shit. Go away. And she fucks them up. And then she leaves with the guy to go get into the machine. And through the portal, just like I said, I thought the Deadpools were going to come out to help Wolverine and Deadpool. But no, they come out to stop them. Because they, 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 I don't know, I guess they're like, the boss lady says we don't let you through. That's when Logan says, oh, I get to kill a hundred of, oh, there's some funny stuff, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. Uh, just, there's a lot of funny stuff that happens in between this. I mean, they poke fun of a lot of Marvel stuff. Uh, I won't spoil it. But yes, they fight all the Deadpools. And, uh, and I won't spoil how they get away. Oh, actually, yeah, here it is. Because they all regenerate because they're Deadpools. So after they kill them all, they all start waking up again. And they're all like, fuck, this is never going to end. Fucking Peter shows up. And all the Deadpools respect Peter like a god. And then that's how they stop fighting them. Uh, so then they go off and to stop Cassandra Nova. And this is stupid. I mean, I don't like the ending. But they basically make a... Deadpool holds onto Wolverine. And they hold like a battery on each end. And that fucking stops the machine and shit. Um, so then the TVA guy is fucking apologizing and saying that it's not his fault. And then the, the Hunter B-15 from fucking Loki shows up. The cameo from Loki. And she fucking, they send him to jail. This is a resolution, by the way. They send him to jail, TVA jail, or he gets arrested. And they tell... Uh, Wolverine and Deadpool that they can that they fixed that I don't that they don't know what they did but now their timeline is no longer disintegrating and that they can stay in their time Logan can stay in Deadpool's timeline and uh so that's what ends up happening oh Deadpool also asks can you please fucking this is what's weird is Deadpool asks there's some friends that we met in the void can you help them get home and she says I'll see what I can do now, I have some theories about this. But at the end, uh, they go back to Wade's party or whatever the fuck. Uh, and they're all there, all the friends. And it's weird because Wolverine is there. And the little girl X-23 is there. So they brought her out of the void. She's there. So this is my theory. Is that the Resistance, Gambit, Blade, and Elektra were pulled out and brought into Deadpool's universe to live there. That's just a theory. They don't say that. They don't say that. Uh, the movie literally ends like the way the way uh, this picture that I had at the very end it showed or whatever the fuck. Uh, with this picture. It zooms out because they're all there celebrating. And that's it. That's how it literally ends. It doesn't connect to Secret Wars. It doesn't connect to the MCU. It doesn't connect to anything. It ends there. It's so weird. It's like a standalone. It's almost like if they said, if well, if they don't agree to do the next movies, at least we were able to end it without, you know, whatever. It's so weird that it doesn't lead into anything. It just abruptly ends. But here's the theory time. Uh, I don't want to steal it. God, that might be copywritten. I don't want to take that from that son of a British bitch. Um... Here's my son of man. His theory is that in the fucking beginning of the movie, when Deadpool goes to the TVA, there is this fucking shit they show Deadpool. Or actually, they don't show it to him. Deadpool sees it on one of the TV screens. And Thor's holding him, and Deadpool's dying. And the guy tells him, turn that off. He's not supposed to be seeing that. And he tells Deadpool, don't worry, that, that happens a long time from now. And so it goes back to the point where I remember the fact that they told him the TVA 
told me, that, that, that guy, the bad guy told him, the TVA told me to get you and bring you to the sacred timeline because you're going to serve a purpose in a big battle in the future. Like you're a deciding factor. You're special. So Deadpool's going to die at Secret Wars and Thor's going to be holding him. It's already shown to us. And Thor's like got scars and he's bleeding from his head too. Like there was a battle and shit. It's really quick, man. It's like seconds. Uh, it doesn't even look good in the version that I have, so I didn't even bother. This is some art that somebody did. It's a really good art. And so here's my theory as to where I think this might be going. Uh, because the end of credit scene, and I'll tell you the end of credit. I'll show you the end of credit scene in just a little bit. But here's my theory as to where they're going with this. And they might announce it tomorrow. But my theory is that they're going to do... Avengers versus X-Men, which is what everybody the rumor has been. That's what they're going to announce tomorrow. But this is what it's going to be. <clears throat> it's going to be that because Deadpool's universe didn't get destroyed, and it should have been destroyed, because the anchor died. So if, if everything's supposed to na happen naturally the way it's supposed to fucking happen, then, then the universe should have died. But since now it's not dying, and it's thriving then eventually that's going to crash into something because that's the incursions. It's not supposed to exist, and if it keeps existing, it's going to crash into another timeline. And the timeline it's going to crash into is going to be the MCU. And so the Avengers versus X-Men we're going to see is going to be MCU Avengers versus Fox X-Men. And the reason they're going to be fighting is because their universes are crashing into each other. And the way the comic books explains it is that one of them has to be destroyed in order for one of them to survive. If not, they both get destroyed and none of them survive. And so both sides are literally going to be trying to destroy each other in order to stay alive. But this is how Secret Wars begins. Because they could also do that. Fine. The Fox universe is crashing into the MCU. But we're having the Fantastic Four movie and that's going to take place in a different universe away from those two i think that universe at the same time will also be crashing into those two so we're going to have three universes crashing so even though it's avengers versus x-men the fantastic four are going to be in the middle of this not fighting them but trying to figure out how to fix the universes from crashing so these stories will be all interwined dr doom will be there and he will be the one who, just like the comic books, when the universes get destroyed, he gets the power of the Beyonders, and he creates the brand new world. I don't think it's a brand new world. I think they already explained it to us in this movie. When all the, and Cassandra said it, when all the universes are destroyed, the only thing left will be the Void. The Void is Battle World. So, What's going to happen in Avengers vs. X-Men is going to be the incursions. And in the very end, they're all, gonna, all the universes are going to die. Every last one of them. And whoever didn't die in those movies, because heroes are going to die, whoever didn't die will f go in the void. And that's Battle World. And they'll have to fight Doctor Doom or Kang, if they're still going to go with Kang. But it didn't make any sense since he already beat a woman. So it's going to be Doctor Doom. The God in the Void, because they already killed Cassandra. So Doctor Doom and, and you know, all these heroes trying to fight him. Deadpool and Wolverine as part of the team. Tobey Maguire. Uh, Blade. Electra Gambit. Beast that we already saw in the other, in the other movie with, with that girl. Probably some of the lesbians from the MCU. And homosexuals. And they'll probably be in there too. You gotta have them all in there. The black Captain America and shit. The lesbian Hulk and all his ass. It'll be in there. It'll be in there. Um, and I think that's what's gonna happen. I think that's what's gonna happen. You know. Uh, that's just my theory. Because the end of credit scene was n went nowhere. So there's there's just okay. So there's uh, I wouldn't call it post or mid credit scene. I would call it more like a montage that I can't show you. But the montage uh, during the credits, it's basically um, behind the scenes from all the Fox movies. It's badass. It's almost like a tribute, man. It's actually a cool thing to watch. I can't show it here. 
Uh, but that's a, that's another thing that I, I want you guys to go see. Uh, go pay for this. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a montage of back back behind the scenes of all the Fox movies that they were all of them, all of them. It's fucking badass. You see all the actors and, and shit like that. Um, but then at the end of the film, Deadpool comes out, and Deadpool goes, uh, he goes, oh, I'm gonna fucking uh set the record straight because everybody's blaming me blaming me for fucking pretty boy's death you know chris evans because he they killed him in the movie and everybody's blaming me wolvie's but everybody's blaming me and he goes but i got the proof right here <laughs> this fucking son of man here this son of a bitch he, he fucking he goes he turns around and he plays a video and the video is like deleted footage from the movie and all the fucking things that Deadpool said that Chris Evans had said about that chick. You see Chris Evans saying it, bro. All the fucking crazy ass nasty things. He's saying it. And then Deadpool turns around. You see, I wasn't lying. He did say those things. And that's how the fucking movie ends. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> It's fucking stupid because the insults that Deadpool says are ridiculous and Chris Evans is begging for his life I've, I've never even heard some of those words. Why would I say that and Deadpool's all like you think I'm a shit talker man This guy takes the cake. He really like damn. He needs an award for all the shit. He said about you uh, And it's hilarious because it ended up being true man Even I thought he was just because even Wolverine was getting mad like shut the fuck up He's like, you idiot, you got him killed. You got that poor kid killed. He tells him, <laughs> yeah, poor kid. <laughs> it's fucking, even at the very end, they still get you laughing, bro. Fucking Deadpool. Fucking Ryan Reynolds. Um, It's a good movie. It is worth your money. It's funny. It's a lot of fan service, a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of eye candy, a lot of finalies you're going to get. Um, the story is what bothers me because it's just a it's fucking... St it, number one, it's a standalone. It really doesn't connect to the multiverse. It just leaves you with questions, more questions than answers. It leaves you guessing because like I said, now I'm making up theories because I don't know. And, uh, and I'm just guessing and making theories up. And that's what it is. There's nothing that connects to another movie. There's nothing that says, oh, we're in the MCU. No, there's nothing that says we're in the MCU. Except for the TVA. That's it. And Thor came out for a little bit. There's nothing else that says, welcome to the MCU. No, no, no Avengers, nothing. This leads to nothing. And that's what bothers me. And also the villain. That made no sense. Both of them doesn't make any sense. Uh, that's what bothers me. But overall, I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to pay for this. I already saw, I've seen it like four times already. I'm going to see it four more times tomorrow and Sunday. I have it here at home. I just press play over it. I'm probably going to watch it right now while I'm taking off my makeup. <laughs> uh, but yes, I think it is worth your money if you're going to go spend it. I didn't spoil everything. I, I mean, you, you know the movie, and I had already told you the spoilers. If you watched this channel, you would have already known a lot of it anyways. Um, but there's a lot that I, I still left out for you to go in there and enjoy and laugh and shit. Uh, hopefully this fucking channel doesn't get banned or doesn't get taken down and shit. Uh, who knows? With our luck. We just need one more strike and we're out. Uh, but I think I am down ranting. I do appreciate you motherfuckers that stuck around. Uh, all you motherfuckers. Uh, Timmons, uh, Gomer, Super Saiyan, Joe Koo. Uh, who else was here? Uh, fucking, uh, uh, I'm fucking, I'm pretty high, man. I know some motherfuckers showed up. Uh, Nosy showed up. Uh, who else showed up? I'm fucking, I'm fucked up. Uh, someone else showed up. Somebody help me out. Anyways. I, I do appreciate you guys showing up on Fridays and hanging out and shit. And for those of you that watch the video, uh, the edited version, I thank you guys for giving us views in this channel. Make sure you subscribe to the other dud channels, to the backup channels in case we get banned. If you want to keep watching. If you don't, then fuck off. Uh, but I'll go ahead and... Uh,
and go ahead and uh, fucking leave you guys with some life advice to take home. And this is a good life advice. I really thought about this all day. Okay. I'll keep it simple. One of these, uh, what are they called? Uh, allegories or metaphors. It's one of those things that you got to think about. You know what I'm saying? You know, it'll make you scratch your head a little bit. But here we go. Life advice for this week. If you're not happy somewhere, just fucking get up and move. You're not a fucking tree. You don't have to stay somewhere. This is as simple as that. Yeah, it's just a lot of work to get up and move somewhere. But you'll be a lot happier than where you are right now. That's all I'm going to say. Simple, yet true. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for being here. Cheers. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?